Hello, Hello everyone. Welcome to Baldur's Gate Frames. <laughs> Thank you for joining us for an evening of Dungeons and Dragons. I'm Chris and I will be your dungeon master for tonight. We're thrilled to be streaming at twitch.tv slash dnd and twitch.tv slash adventures won't it. For those who are new to D&D or who's happened to have stumbled upon the official D&D channel, uh, everyone here plays fantasy characters in a fantasy universe. The four... Ooh, there's more. It's five. <laughs> five players. <laughs> Five players <laughs> above and really below me um, <laughs> are all playing uh, characters, individual characters with character sheets uh, in front of them on various devices. We will come back to that later. Um, and those sheets tell them what they can do. Nine times out of ten, they'll be rolling a 20 sided dice, it's one of these, and adding a number from that sheet to that dice roll to see if they succeed at something. 20s are good, ones are hilariously bad. Who's rolling one? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this this yeah, is what happens. Yeah, Not good. And whilst they play their characters, everything else in said fantasy universe is played by me. People, monsters, the weather, <laughs> you name it. And between me describing the world and the story, and the players describing what they do, and some dice rolls to keep things unpredictable for all of us, we tell our story. This is the first chapter of our story, so we're not going to give you too much of an intro into, into Baldur's Gate Framed. We're just going to kick off into the story. Also, can I ask you not to introduce your characters yet? That will happen as part. Yes. Oh. <laughs> we'll get to Grandstand. Oh yeah, <laughs> very excited. much so. Yeah, I really want some proper Grandstand when, when everyone enters. Thank you. But could you please introduce yourselves? Please give your name, uh, the pronouns that you prefer, and maybe a sentence just like a, here's how I'm feeling right now would be nice. So starting uh, starting literally above me. Literally above me. Oh, thank you, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> you can't keep doing that. Yes, no. <laughs> oh, no, it's good no, 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 look at your crotch and say thank you, Chris, again. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, hello, my name is Jaya Baldwin. Um, and I'm we, sorry. How are we feeling? <laughs> uh, pronouns. pronouns. Yes, I use, I use he/him pronouns, um, and I'm I'm feeling very excited uh, for this. <laughs> I've been looking forward to this for a long time, and now I'm here, and I'm all dressed up. That's going to be great. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> that was adorable. Thank you. <laughs> um, hello, I'm Steve Rogers. Uh, I also use he him pronouns uh, and I am feeling a little warm already um, but the main thing is to make sure I keep the waistcoat on longer than Jaya. Hey. <laughs> Start a little bit of rivalry there's already. There's some glistening across that side of the table. I mean I've got more to glisten on it. <laughs> Hold on and glisten! Yeah. Uh, hi, my name's Sharmini. I use she her pronouns. I'm feeling good, I guess. Sure, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Hello, uh, I'm Anna Bricking. <laughs> <laughs> Story time. Um, <laughs> I use she, her pronouns, and I'm feeling exceptionally underdressed. I feel like I'm going to have to get my suits and go and do those next time. Do it, do it, no, no, it's all about the t-shirts. Do it. Do it. <laughs> suits. Uh, hello, uh, I'm Edward Cartwright. Um, I use he, him pronouns, and I'm feeling fine. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Thanks, Ed. Good tonal shift there. That's great. <laughs> and I'm Chris, and I use they, them pronouns. Excellent. So before we kick off, the stream will run for three hours, and there'll be a roughly five to ten minute break somewhere near the middle. Uh, we're delighted to be sponsored by D&D Beyond, the official digital tool set for Dungeons & Dragons. D&D Beyond offers a compendium of all the game's rules, lore, adventures, and digital tools like a character builder, digital character sheets, which I believe all our players are using today. Yes. Yep, yep, yep. yes. Splendid. And also, an interactive overlay Twitch extension, which should be... I think it's next to Ed and Sharmini, if you point to your... Yeah? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Oh, there it is. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. uh, You can click on character portraits there with art done by uh, Grace Wilsmer, which is our official art. Which you can see so wonderful so full-scale um, versions of on our Twitter account, which is Adventures 250. More on that later. But yes, lots of nice stuff there if you want to find a bit more about the characters. We're also delighted to be sponsored by Ultra Pro. Get your tabletop organized with character folios, dice bags, and all the other stuff they do. They do a remarkable number of things. They're a leading manufacturing supplier of sports and gaming collectibles. But today we are specifically promoting... <gasps> 
the Xanathar dice bag. Holy crap. It's that adorable. Dice it's a dice, dice bag. bag. It's a plushie. Yeah. No, it's a plushie with a carabiner and it has a... a carabiner? Oh, hang on, I've got some... I've got some when you're rock here. climbing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and it has a, it has a heavy-duty zippered pouch heavy on the butt. Heavy-duty. Oh, <laughs> Inside wow, the Xanathar's butt, butt, you make wow. it dice. <laughs> it's the Xanathar butt crack. The Xanathar butt crack. <laughs> Behold the butt crack. <laughs> anyway, this is Anathar Beholder. We have a few of these to give away. If you'd like to win one of these, uh, pop onto the Twitch chat and there'll be some information there about how to enter. It's very great. adorable. This also means I am now wearing a beholder, holding a beholder, and I have one on my arm. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Well, really that's good. not foreshadowing, it's fine. <laughs> no, no, it's not a hint. Good. <laughs> Finally. We play with a diverse set of players who play a diverse set of characters with wide-ranging sexual and gender identities. Our tables are trans-positive, and we encourage and champion trans players and characters in our games. Uh, the DM, myself, and players may portray characters that are of a different gender to their own, and while we aim to avoid misgendering, we acknowledge it does sometimes happen, and have a company policy in place for correcting people on pronouns. If we miss an instance, please do let us know uh, in the chat or uh, on Twitter or anything like that. We're very open to being corrected, mm. so please do take part in that very important process. Mm. Thank you. Well, oh. Oh. I'm ready. Are you? Oh. Yes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> what would you genuinely do if we said no? <laughs> you wouldn't start playing the music, which is the best possible thing. We are in the city of Baldur's Gate. Quite apt, considering the title of the show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for those who are not aware, Baldur's Gate is a city on the Kyonthar River. It is a bit further south than Waterdeep, if that's a location you are aware of, and is a mercantile city quite famed around the Sword Coast and uh, Arm beneath it as being a... <sighs> Hmm, what's the best way to describe it? Uh, one of the best ways to buy, sell, trade, but also not the safest of mm -hmm. cities. A certain reputation precedes Baldur's Gate, as well as the titular gates of the city, which are in the outer walls, the inner walls, and a lot of segregation, the space being taken up and taken apart. However, we start outside the city walls in the aptly named Outer City. In a small neighbourhood on the far side of the Dusthawk Hill, the smell of a tannery and butcher is unmistakable in your nostrils as you wake up. A shakti. Would you like to describe what you look like, please? Yeah, so um, she's sort of angular. Um. <laughs> She's a rhomboid, good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> first word you're gonna choose. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, with black hair with a red streak in. Um and I'll describe what she's wearing, but she's probably wearing like a nighty, so <laughs> doesn't it's not gonna match the character art. I wasn't wearing a nighty in the character art. Um, okay. Yeah, with with some cool maybe yeah. yeah. going on. Awesome. Excellent. Uh, your <clears throat> lodgings, your room is in Sow's foot. Sow's foot is on the far side of the Dusthawk Hill. Uh, Baldur's Gate proper, which is a walled city, is on the other side of the hill, with the southern road ranging largely to the east and curving around the Dusthawk Hill before crossing to the south at, um, I think it's just called Worms Crossing. I'm going to double check that to make sure I've got it right. Is my map? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Worms Crossing, which is the uh, largest and biggest bridge across the Gyomtha before heading south from there. So this is one of the main routes out of Baldur's Gate, and because of Baldur's Gate's walls, and because of the uh, cost of getting in and out of the city, a lot of houses and structures and smaller city-like, town-like bits which form the outer city have formed along this road. And Sal's foot is on the far side of the hill, so you can't see the city proper. And Sal's foot is aptly named for the large tannery. The smell is not great. Mm. <laughs> it's an understatement. Yeah. Yeah. But it's better. You have your independence. Yeah, I've got my own room. Yeah. This is good. <clears throat> yeah. This is good. What would you like to do? 
your work shift does start at some point. Ah. I'm not going to say you're late or early yet. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> With Charmaine, I would definitely be late, but... Yeah, I'm not putting that on you as a... a yeah, that's that's, a, that's, a, that's you in real life, Sharon, yeah, so I'm not yeah. going to put that on your it's player character. She's not going to be late, because <laughs> she's very keen on being on time for work. I'm mm -hmm. um, sure. going to um, get some of yesterday's dinner left over for breakfast. You don't have a kitchen in your... He said hovel, I'm sorry. <laughs> you don't have a kitchen in your room. Um, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's wooden, it's not particularly well laid. You, you have wow. a wardrobe, you have no, a hovel. bed, but you don't have a kitchen, you don't have a bathroom. They're all shared. Um, I'm going to uh, go down Check to the kitchen. <laughs> Someone started singing, I'm stopping that right now. <laughs> I was going to ask if they were... Ma firstly, do magical fridges exist? And secondly, does my very, very cheap lodgings have a magical fridge? So the first, the first important question I was about as well is, do magical fridges exist? Yeah, it's the most important question. So because I had leftovers from dinner and... No, there are no magical fridges. It's quite, a cold, it's quite a cold place, right? Borders Gate. It's like rainy and horrible. No, it's um, it's slightly further south than the rest of uh, the oh, Sword Coast, man. so it is starting to get... Why is that a bad thing? I was going to leave my rice on my windowsill. Oh, you God. Could. Oh, is it? Oh, don't do that. Uh, well, you live near well, a tannery. Well, I mean, what, what, what way yeah. is the wind... Oh, yeah, well, it's it's like worse. the first food to gather bacteria as well. Yeah. <laughs> I I, yeah, I'm not going to have suggest, any breakfast. It's fine. <laughs> I would suggest, as part of... Um, this time frame, sort of late Renaissance in our human, yeah. human in our Earth years. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> in Earth context, it's sort yeah. of late Renaissance. So yeah. there would be larders and stores and places to store food yeah. in much more salubrious accommodation. Yeah. Yeah. Out your window. Yeah, um, <laughs> you would be used to buying something like street food on your way to and from oh, work, that's and that's how you would basically okay. sustain yourself. Okay, that's not that sounds expensive. I mean, you're not buying like sort of specially prepared meals. You are buying like a rat on a stick. <laughs> yes. Me and throat every day. Yes. Um, yeah. I'll, I'll, hey, there's I'll, nothing wrong with a rat on a stick. Absolutely. I, I will. Nothing alive. against rat. No, I, will, very, very nice. I will dress up, make sure I look smart, make sure this is like still like white enough to count as white. <laughs> fine. Um, and head out and find where I know on the route um, on the main road into, into towards Baldur's Gate mm -hmm. is the sort of cheapest meat on a stick. Don't really ask what the meat is. Oh, you um, can tell what the meat is because it's still obviously a rat. I'm <laughs> <laughs> sad about that. Rat. No, no, it's... Um, no, you I'm, I'm sad. I'm oh, you're sad. sad. Charmony is sad. <laughs> yeah. but is Ash not sad? No. Okay. This is not... I mean, this is part of your repast, part of your life. And also, it's not... Okay. It's really okay. not like a like this is quite normal people of your station. Yeah. I did not read the the guide well enough. I didn't know about the rats, but I I am I'm here for the rats. I'm well into the rats. <laughs> it's it's great. I'm really happy about my rat situation. This game was already unexpected, but well, this game episode time. one rats. <laughs> That's all you're gonna get. <laughs> rats. Cool. There is yeah. one main road that heads around through the outer city, around the Dusthawk Hill to Baldur's Gate. Yeah. So you can just walk along that. Yeah. Um, it's quite a long way. Yeah. And Left in plenty of time, because yeah, I'm not going to be late. Of course. Just FYI. <clears throat> yeah, this is a Shakti, not Charmini. Yeah. Um, you make your way along the road. Uh, you pass along from Sow's Foot, and the smell starts to dissipate a little bit. Um, there are grassy, verdant fields, some trees. Like, you can see nature. It's not far away at this point, because all of these houses have very much been built around the edge of Dusthawk Hill. There is a... Um, an unofficial line that houses are not built past up the hill because it's a nature reserve, but um, frankly, it's not that well policed, and there are houses going up the hillside, but it's a very large hill. So Some fancy bird that lives up there. There is indeed a fancy bird called the Dust Hawk, hence Dust Hawk Hill. So, yes, you are going up the road towards Whitkeep, and then from there to Little Kalimshan and uh, Stony mm -hmm. Arms, making yeah. your way around to Baldur's Gate. Yeah. Uh, the road is relatively... Uh, steep because you are heading up a little because as you crest around around just as you leave Whitkeep and get towards um Norchapel in that area you can see below you inside an inlet the city of Baldur's Gate is very visible at this point and it is very large 
it's quite imposing. Like the walls are quite high. It is a walled city and very much the kind of place that would look difficult to assail or assault if you wanted to, although who'd want to, frankly? Who'd want to? <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't planning on it today, anyway. No. <laughs> you can also just around the edge of the city see the uh, Northern Road and uh, Blackgate on the far side, which is where it heads out sort of to the west and north from here. But as you head down from Norchapel towards Stony Eyes, you uh, come across the Basilisk Gate ahead of you. And there is already, at this early time in the morning, a steady stream of traffic. Um, people who work in the lower city uh, tend to live in the outer city, because the outer city is a lot cheaper. And there is a uh, cost for getting into. So you join the queue, as you do every morning. You've given yourself a lot of time. Definitely, given myself a lot of time. Commute, gosh. Yeah. Yeah, 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 it is. Yeah. And you wait. Oh, I think grumpily about having babe. to pay. No, having to pay the money to get to my job, so I can get more money, so I can pay them more money, so I can get. To... Yeah. <laughs> uh, the Cheerio. basilisk gate is aptly named. There is a stone basilisk carved into the um, headstone over the top of it, and it is quite wide. It is a very much a gate when there's travel. There's horses. There's carts. Like this is not a one in one out situation. <laughs> you also notice you're going up the. Rather, you're used to this now, but to the outside eye, it is a bit peculiar. There's a couple of peacocks oh, yeah. tied up next to the gate. And every now and again, when a horse and cart rides up, the horse will be measured against the peacock and then either turned away or let into the city. No animal larger than a peacock can enter a horse yet. So some of the horses aren't turned away. Oh, well, if there are halflings or gnome riders, yeah. then ponies or similar. Yeah. yeah. This peacock is huge. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, okay. Romy, okay wait, let's have the first roll. Romy, a nature check. <laughs> a nature check? Yeah. Never going to be used again. Well, unlikely. Wow. Well, four. <laughs> wow, that's good stuff. First, yeah. Hang on, okay. was, that, was that a critical taking a hit to the team? No, 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 no. It was no, a two. No. It was a two. It was a three with a plus one. Oh, it's we a three. Can't, we sorry. Can't yeah. yeah. Uh, that's a big peacock. What do you get from that? <laughs> <laughs> No, that's what the horse does. Sorry. And uh, for the audience and the audience alone, uh, these peacocks have been bred to be abnormally large. Mm. Mm. Almost as if someone wanted to bring bigger animals into the city and decided to breed larger peacocks. <laughs> as you queue up to get into the city, wait your turn and take your time. Think about how delicious peacock might be. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that would be quite good, wouldn't it? Gamey, I would imagine. I've never had peacock in it, no. I imagine it'd be like pheasant. Yeah. It's quite gamey then. Yeah. As you are queuing up and uh, awaiting your turn to enter the city proper, we move to the upper city. Baldur's Gate itself is split into a lower and upper city. The lower city uh, curves around the dock area, which is, ta is takes a large bite out of the centre of the um, semicircle that is the city on the river. Um, it goes rises very steeply, and the, at the top of the very steep um, western side of the city, the upper city is also walled on the inside. A very clear disparity between the um, slums and um, not particularly well looked after housing of the lower city. Lots of higgledy piggledy houses and things that have been built too high too quickly. So maybe to think about that. The cloying dark smoke of the lower city, everyone's got a fire going, this fills the air with a thick grey haze, and it's also relatively foggy. It's almost mm. always foggy in Baldur's Gate. Um, the upper city, however, couldn't be more different. Beautiful, well looked after, all of the rich patriarch families who are, are part of the Parliament of Peers, who rule over the city are there, especially the Council of Four, who are the uh, main people who rule the city. and. We move towards one of the finer houses. Some disrepair. It is not, it's not a family on the up. Put it that way. Inside said house, Biorica. You wake up? <laughs> yes. Would you want to describe Biorica for you? Uh, he is sort of uh, draped over his bed. He's kind of too big for everything. He's a, he's a tall, long, tall drink of water, about six foot six. <laughs> Um, uh, but uh, very sort of gangly, all the sort of um, grace of a giraffe, which is actually a lot of grace, but because he's so big, it doesn't come across like that. Uh, he has a sort of unruly mane of uh, blonde hair and um, uh, wide and startled blue eyes. 
Um, and he gets up and puts on his um, finery, as he likes to call it, uh, and uh, descends to try and find uh, to try and find a bite to eat before going to the church of uh, Lathander, like Lathander, Lathander, um, for uh, mm-hmm. the morning um, called prayer, which is actually at dawn. So I don't know if it's as in like I might have already done that and then gone back to bed, but then I would go for another one. Like another church session. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely what they call it. The church. Yes, 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 yes. This very religious person here being able to give us a very church detailed session. breakdown of what that means. Yeah, good. Uh, <laughs> Again, I am very happy. And, yes. I am very happy for you to have risen early and there to be a slight time dilation. It's it's, it's the um, Lethando specifically requires for the uh, um, people who take it seriously to be up at dawn to greet the rebirth of the sun. And I will have done that, but then I might well have gone back to bed. And this will be then the second time. <laughs> Let's make this a second time. Make oh, yeah. Makes sense. Second breakfast. Exactly. <laughs> uh, yes, and then I will probably... There is a dining hall that you would probably yes. go into. Absolutely. Uh, I make sure to uh, be uh, very mindful, because uh, I'm not actually of the family per se, no. but I'm part of the household. You are the ward. Indeed. Uh, and How old are you again? Uh, Oh, what did we work out? 36, I think? 36 year old ish, ward of the house. Ish, exactly. Yeah. Uh, uh, but an elf, and so therefore, um, uh, well, half elf, a high half elf, and, and so therefore very sort of um, youthful looking still. Uh, and he goes and gets some porridge, I would imagine. Uh, you would be served. In, in Really? Yes. Okay. You gotcha. would be served. Gotcha. Uh, in which case, yes, he will sit down and uh, have some porridge brought to him. Uh, you are alone at the table at first. Yes. Okay. And as you uh, start eating, um, can you roll me a uh, perception check, please? Oh, interesting. <laughs> not know what my own idea. Uh, hang on. Uh, no, that not is... even close, sorry. <laughs> oh, oh dear. Five. Five. Five in total. Ooh. Not impressive. As you are leaning down to uh, sup at your, sup at your pot. Yes. <laughs> um, you are smacked in the back of the head from behind and sort of pop <laughs> into it slightly. And there's from behind you get a two very obvious sniggering loss. <laughs> As uh, your siblings, yes. fair to say? Yes. Yes. Uh, both have entered the room and are sitting down. Uh, Tharaval, who uh, did, did clout you over yes. the back of the head, they go around the side of the table still smirking at you and uh, take a seat. And uh, one of your servants comes over and they just order coffee. Um, in the meantime, uh, Shaden, who uh, is still laughing along but appears to be engrossed in a book, this is very normal, Shaden, yes. um, moves to the other side of the table and sits and absentmindedly orders something and keeps reading. They don't really engage with you beyond that. No, I'm, I'm not surprised that they would. I do not attempt to uh, um, get back at them or even deign to notice that they are there. There is just a small. Uh... <laughs> 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 and then very slowly and gently I get up preserving my um, decorum at all times and then slowly remove myself I will not deign to play their games that's the plan where do you head to? Um, probably to the uh, the place where I feel safest in the house because uh, mm-hmm. if you are not somebody who's who uh, belo- uh, like I do belong to the house but um, uh, you have to be on your guard all the time if you're not actually one of the well children um, and so I go to the um, the art collection and Lovely. gaze at all of these spectacular pictures of people from bygone uh, aeons who well, I want to see the Ravenshade art collection mm. is unique in that while there are other families who have art collections, the Caldwells in particular are ones that you're aware of, mm-hmm. um, the um, art that your you consider her your mother, don't you? Yes. Yeah. The art that your mother collected, yes. um, Shilvaya, tended not to be of the classical type of this era. Mm-hmm. She liked modern, exciting, interesting things, things that broke the mould. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Things that had a very different, if you'll quote, forgive this, vibe, that, um, <laughs> than, 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 the, the, than the classic portraiture of the time would have had. So you are looking at quite abstract, quite peculiar, quite strange pieces of artwork, but 
which I uh, which you are aware of them. They are things that you are you've seen before. And also, uh, V, I think, having been schooled by the person who collected them, completely mm. sees the point of them and that they are the future and uh, appreciates them as well as the other art. But it sort of wants all of them to be seen as uh, equals. And the fact that they are outre doesn't uh, matter to V at all. As always, you hang slightly on the rather peculiar piece, mm. sort of. Jovar often described it as a centerpiece, but no one else seems to agree with her on the quality of it. So um, this is really just yours and yours to appreciate. And there is, it is quite unnerving, the, uh, the strange rain of blood over an almost two-dimensional depiction of Baldur's Gate. Yes. But you've always found it quite interesting and quite engaging and it sort of maybe gives you a certain amount of like fervor of things don't always have to be the same way and yeah and uh, it's a thing that you can keep coming back to and seeing different it is of. certainly very very strangely detailed mm -hmm. while not not even attempting three-dimensionalism it's almost like two-dimensional buildings on a three-dimensional background it has a very odd quality to it as you are there gazing up from another perception check yeah Okay. <clears throat> oh lord, it just gets worse. <laughs> it was a three. <laughs> yeah, I've gone back down one again. Yeah. <laughs> there is a faint. Um... <laughs> <laughs> this is a sound. Sorry. <laughs> Box. There is a faint <clears throat> from next to behind you. I. Turn specifically if it's that side. I turn specifically the other way to make sure it takes as long as it can to get round to whoever it is. It is Sorella, Sorella Ravenshade, um, the matriarch of the household and the partner of your late mother. Yes. Madam, <laughs> it is so wonderful to see your august presence amongst these uh, august pieces of art. Yes, quite. Hmm, hmm, hmm. <laughs> do you remember the uh, thing we discussed a couple of days ago? Yes, 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 indeed, yes. It was, it was, it was terribly exciting. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you were going to bring people to yes. the house today yes, to I discuss. Was. Yes. When should I be expecting them? You've not given me a what do you call it a schedule. Right, right, yes. Well, no. Uh, uh, I, I will collect them this morning. And shall we say, uh, two of the clock? Would that, would that, yes, yes, very we do, well. We do want to, um, <clears throat> maybe the uh, servant's entrance and uh, maybe some kind of ruse would be Ooh. useful. Oh, keep the uh, uh, covered, covered uh, uh, faces, indeed. I think if people with covered faces walked oh, in, see. Yes, no, 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 it no, might I, be uh, even uh, more alarming. Right, yes, that's true. Sorry, I, I, I mm. understood. Yes, no, I will, I will, I will consult and and make sure that they do not come altogether or in any overt, specific way. I'm trusting you with this. Please. Yes, you know, you do me altogether too much honour. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, I'll be in the lounge. Understood. And she walks up the stairs past you. And I am forever your obedient and humble servant. Yes. Roman in search. <laughs> okay. Still not good. Wow. Yeah. Uh, insight, you say. Yes, please. <clears throat> uh, that is three. Oh. Mm -hmm. Three. Mm -hmm. You don't notice the slight stiffening of the shoulders and. If this was a TV show, um, <laughs> significant. Look. This was a yeah. TV show. Um, Cyrilla's face as she walks away from you has the slight pall of "Have I made a terrible decision?" <laughs> yes. <laughs> In many ways, she has. Lovely. Where do you go? Uh, so my first. Um, you can ask people where they might be. No, 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 understood. Uh, but my first, I'm trying to think who would be the first person I would try and collect. Uh, the first person would be you, because I believe you're already in the house. Mm. You That's could what be. I mean. You don't have to be. It's entirely up to you. Do you have rooms here? I'm no. A, I don't think I... No, you just come here oh. yeah. often. Yeah. <laughs> late at night. <laughs> just this come here often. This all my plans. Mm. Right. So you come here often late at night, is that what we're saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. It's all about the dreams, baby. 
I will um, come to it. We'll come to it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, where would you go and find? Um... Yes, that's okay. So, uh, my first thing would be to check where, because you do occasionally stay at Uber. I imagine I do stay over. So check that room first, and then find it uh, gone, and then have a have a small freak out about. Uh, <laughs> do I go now? <laughs> uh, which takes a good five to ten minutes. <laughs> do you walk around the room yeah. that she's not in, going? <laughs> certain amount of things like that which takes a little bit of time mm. um, but then I ask uh, is there a butler figure? yes there is a butler who I would presume would therefore know would be the nexus of the house and would understand the comings and goings yes uh, yes you know them well Stevens Stevens <laughs> <laughs> terribly uh, what's the word um, formal man uh, I go to him and go my dear Stevens Bills. My dear, my dear students, um, there is uh, there is a lady who <laughs> yes. there is a lady who uh, attends to um, uh, La Sorala, and uh, uh, I wondered where where this lady resides. She she she's the one who brings the dreams, you know, dreams. Where is your house? <laughs> dreams. <laughs> Sorry. It's in the lower city. Do you have a specific oh, location in mind? Um, I well, I don't know. I was going to say with with. You could be in the upper city as well if you yeah, want to be at this we'd, point. We would try and be all there. Oh, I see. Uh, right. Ooh, in okay. which case, kind of. um, uh, in which case, the... Stevens would sell you a no time just getting Wait, off the plane. <laughs> you mean take as long as you need, Stevens? Uh, no. <laughs> Just standing there thinking. Oh, wait. No, yeah. It's about to escape. Stevens is buffering. Oh! Stops T framing and just goes away again. Yes. You mean the Tiller Frame household? Is it? Is it? Yes. Very well, very well. Uh, how, how does one get to it from... Uh... It's uh, down the next street and then two over and then one to the left. You can't miss it. Just say it one more time. Two down, one street over, two to the left. Two down, <laughs> two down one street over, then two to the left. Two down, one street over, two down. then three to the left. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see about this then. <laughs> and I turn smartly on my heel, and uh, yeah, the 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 um, what's it called? The boots that I wear give a, a strong clack each time mm-hmm. I uh, each time I step. Uh, there is a, yes, uh, he has a cane, and he is going to be. Um, What's the word? Ponting slightly uh, on his way. Maybe not. <laughs> two down, not exactly. Uh, two down, uh, two down, one across, and then three to the left, two to the left. I think you're going to do many, many different things. I know. So I'm going to start with two to the left. All right. Uh, Ash, <laughs> yeah. you have made your way through the Basilisk Gate, and you start to make your way through the lower city. The lower city, as I say, is quite, quite a steep hill. On the eastern side of the city, it's less steep. It's more sort of a slow, gentle flat down because the hill the uh, wall tends to be on the high rise around the side of the city um ahead of you you can see yeah you're passing to the east way and heap side yes and uh when you start getting through heap side and start getting to the steeps and bloom ridge because the upper city and lower city at this point are very close together it's because they are steep there is a very steep incline from the harbour right up to the walls of the upper city and the steeps in particular is aptly named because the roads are like very very like 60 to 65 degree angle they are very very steep indeed wow. mm. and uh, Bloomridge uh, kind of softens out a bit towards uh, Sea Tower of Balduran and the sort of more military area to the south of the Sea Tower Doing the city thing of just like ignoring everyone, like no one else exists. It's not London. Going somewhere. <laughs> um, to a certain extent, that is a wise way of dealing with the city. Oh, actually, yes, true. Because the lower city is policed, but not policed particularly <laughs> effectively or well. The lower city is policed by a group called the Flaming Fist, who are a mercenary company, uh, who tend to arrest everyone. Shoot first, ask questions later is the Flaming Fist's main authority. Um, Those who have played the Baldur's Gate video game, they tend to shout, I am the law, quite loudly. (laughs) And that is quite a good way of conceiving of the Flaming Fist. I would like to look unobtrusive and Mm -hmm. unimportant. The Flaming Fist are working primarily to deal with what's known as the Guild. 
Uh, the guild is a wide-ranging thieves guild and um, thief assassins, whatever you want, in a certain extent. Guilds have separate crews, separate pockets that look after different groups or different areas, and you would pass by people who might be giving you a sideways look, but you're aware of this, you are them. used to walking through, you ignore and walk slowly and carefully. <clears throat> are you trying to sort of hide in crowds, not be visible, not be seen? Not to the extent that anyone would be like, why are they trying to hide? Just like, <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just a nobody. I'm just yep. another, another, another insignificant person. Yeah. yeah. Do you just... always take the same route to work? Yeah. Are you taking the same route you always take? <laughs> Shit. I feel like that's loaded. <laughs> um, yes. Yes, yes, I am. Yeah. As you cross into Bloombridge, your eyes kept very firmly down and not paying any attention at all. I didn't say not paying any attention. I said <laughs> well, not funny. looking at anyone. Yeah. <laughs> Can't see anything. Not marking yourself out. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm putting a lot of attention into looking inconspicuous. <laughs> Three figures unfold from both sides of the road you're on from alleys and just walk over to you and just very carefully, very quietly surround you. People around you studiously ignore what's going on. Um, we're still walking or we stopped? You stopped. Uh, one just speaks up. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was a noise off. Please ignore. Yeah. Um, uh, oh. One of the figures turns to you. Hey. Oh, hello. Hi, fancy oh, seeing you too. Yeah. Looking yeah. up, you look straight into the face of Aradine. You know Aradine. Aradine mugs you every day. Fancy seeing you here. Aradine is dressed <clears throat> quite extravagantly. Um, they wear a perfumed wig. Awesome. Yep. Uh, white face paint. You just popped. Uh, very, very, um, well, dandyish clothing as they are, you don't know what their position is within the Bloomridge dandies, the crew, it's one of the guild, yeah. that look after Bloomridge. Are we in Bloomridge now? And you have just crossed into, yes. So, same procedure. Yeah. Come to walk me to work. As always, keeping you safe, my dear, so keeping you safe. Kind. Of course. Supportive community around here, love it. I love it very much so. I love it. Opens an arm. Oh. Oh, that's ugly. Just, 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 just look, I'm a little, I'm a little short today, so, um, and I, uh, hold out hand. With money in. Um, the arm that's lifted, just a hand reaches out. <laughs> hmm. And I've given him. Uh, them. I've given them one uh, gold piece, which is less. <laughs> Half as much as I actually give them. You are now walking with them and yeah. their two compatriots towards your work. Yeah. And the bag is just being gently tossed in the air and caught. Hmm. hmm, this feels a little light. Yeah, you know how it is sometimes. Just just a little short on cash. I'm sure you understand, right? Come to think of it, I've never been short on cash in my life. You poor thing. <laughs> I know, it's tough at the top. Now, I think I know what your wages are. And I think I know how much of that we take away. It's the yes. price for working in the lower city. It's very respectable. They have coffee. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise that would be weird. <laughs> However, sometimes there are unexpected costs. Really? Yes. Someone else taking money from you? Because we can't have that. <laughs> Shops. I hope. I would like shops to be taking money from me. What do you want to buy? Clothes, better food. Are we... A cushion. Is our, pro <laughs> is our protection too expensive for you? Are you not sure you can 
afford it. No, I'm just querying whether maybe today, as a special favour from a friend <laughs> on a lovely day, is that a lovely day? I mean, it's hot, muggy, like there's that sort of morning fog not quite off yet. It's oh. like every day in Baldur's Gate. A yeah. lovely foggy day in Baldur's Gate. Mm. We could uh, just stretch things a little. Roll persuasion check. Oh, go on, please roll. We've had, it's uh, going well so far. We've had yeah. three threes and a four, so we're going to do something. Way! 23. Nice! nice. Oh, there she is! This, that was the best time to get that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at those eyes. Look at those eyes. <laughs> Look at those, <laughs> those pretty eyes. I tell you what, I will make an exception today. I always liked you. <clears throat> but don't get the wrong idea. Today is a special day. All right? Hello, hello. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you are guided quite close to your work, at which point the um, all three of them just peel off, Erdin giving you a wink and throwing the bag and catching it again as they go again down a side alley and just vanish. Rich. <laughs> you have two gold today, not one. <laughs> Okay, smarten up, smarten up. Ready. I'm a working woman. And I go into my workplace. Do you want to describe your workplace? No. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, oh, would you oh like no, to describe Ashakti's workplace? Ashakti's workplace. <laughs> um, it is kind of one large room, essentially, mm -hmm. uh, but kind of split into two sections. Um, one side is full of shelves with various different products and kind of labelled very meticulously, very kind of flowing handwriting mm -hmm. um, uh, with different kind of oils and oil paints and uh, watercolours and tins of powders and all kinds of artist materials and brushes and things stacked up, but all very neat and in, in a nice order mm -hmm. uh, and, a, and a small kind of stool and a, a, a table um, for whoever would be selling said things and then the other anyone half, sat behind the table uh no good uh the other half is um kind of slightly closed off with uh, again a couple of shelves and things and you can't immediately see it and it is in uh, a bit more disarray there's kind of like a almost a fog of colored particles in the air yep. um <laughs> and just things almost everywhere um kind of like Everything seems to be half full of liquid somehow. <laughs> yes. I love it. Um, uh, and it's it's kind of, but there's it's, there's a big bright light from the window. Mm -hmm. That's the kind of one window probably probably one on the uh, outer wall and then one kind of these, especially knocks through the wall to get a little bit more light in. Um, what does the sign the, say on the outside? And the sign on the outside says Abernathy's Art Supplies, and. I thought that was in a different building. Okay, it's, <laughs> building. it's, it's upstairs. Saying, it's yeah. upstairs. Uh, it's upstairs. And uh, pocket whistles, pocket watches. No, I've. <laughs> <laughs> no, whistle pocket. no, whistle pockets. Whistle pockets. Whistle, 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 pocket. whistle, whistle, whistle pockets. Whistle pockets. Whistle pockets. Pocket watches. Yes. Pocket Delight. Whistle, whistle pockets. Pocket watches. Whistle pockets. Pocket watches. No, did it wrong. Pocket watches. Excellent. It's beautiful. <laughs> Makes me so happy. I'm <laughs> gonna walk through all the neat part and kind of stick my head round oh, into the. I think as 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 you walk in, there'll be uh, a little tingle yes, from it all, yeah. Yeah. and uh, just a voice in. Um, Ashakti, there's someone in the shop. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Mr. Whistlepocket, I am on it. Good <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, carry on. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Abernathy's Art Supplies. <laughs> Roll a deception check. Well <laughs> I love this guy. Oh, this thing is so beautiful. Please. Ten. You can Over roll you. a uh, insight or uh, investigation check on this. Other Please tell me you sell something and then have to put your other gold <laughs> into the thing. Um, uh, ooh. 11. 
<laughs> so you know. You know. There's no one there. Damn it. I mean, a shout is there, but otherwise there is no one there. <laughs> I think I'll, I'll, I'll let it go on for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. How can I assist you today with your purchase of art supplies? <laughs> so like that dude from Dad's Army. What's the world going for? Can I assist you today with your purchase of art supplies? You're welcome. I checked here. Have I done it again? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Right. I just okay. I came, but I'm early, so I but I just arrived. But it's me. Hi. I mean, good good morning, Mister uh, Whistlepocket. Um, Abernathy's fine, and Hi is also fine. Hi. Have you stepped Hello. out? And are you now visible? Would you like um, to describe what yes. Abernathy looks like? Kind of walking around um Abernathy is a dwarf kind of small to medium height for a dwarf quite broad a little on the tubby side um he is uh, getting on a little bit in years his his head is entirely shaved but he has a long um very intricately braided uh gingery kind of ready ginger beard uh, with thick streaks of white awesome. kind of running through it um, he is wearing a rather fine waistcoat mm -hmm. um, uh, with a kind of white collarless shirt underneath, um, a very visible pocket watch. Um, <laughs> well, the chain would be visible, the yes. pocket watch would be in the pocket. That is traditionally how they wear yes. it. Yes. How many times can we say pocket yes. watch today? No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Should have done a vocal warm up. Um, <laughs> whistle pocket, pocket watch, whistle pocket, pocket watch. Yes. <laughs> Um, uh, he, uh, he was uh, yes. It's a, an intricate kind of uh, it's a green kind of waistcoat with intricate uh, yellow goldy uh, braiding. Um, a kind of kind of creamish trousers and Cream. like, uh, a, a, a yellowy band kind of up between kind of reasonably sturdy, still fairly dwarven boots. <laughs> yes. Um, mm. yes, and uh, as he is, um, he's already started work for the day. Uh, his sleeves would be rolled up. He's probably got bits of paint and things on yeah, yeah, yeah. his fingers, and he would be looking kind of over, um, like really highly magnified oh, glasses. Oh, kind of oh. can, can I just note now that I'm no longer wearing my nighty? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that description didn't really work well for me. That I'm wearing like a, a red the top and a white the pathetic and and a nice shell necklace. Nothing. Oh look! Oh, oh, yeah. I was going to say to Stephen, I described the character, but you know, the... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. no. Yeah. Oh yes, in in the oh, thing. What, um, yeah. Right. Um, the kettle was on a little while ago. It might be cold now. I suppose we'd better put it on again. I can do that for you right away. All right. Okay. The pocket. Well, thank you. Worry about it. I'm on it. Right. Um, I think everything's set up. You might want to check. I don't know. Um, I'm just mixing up some uh, new uh, paints in the back. A new color range coming on. <laughs> if you want to come and help, you're more than welcome to come and help. If you want to just take it easy for a bit, I don't know. There's not been anyone in so far apart from, well, you, really. I, I will come and help you mix a whole new color range. Sounds great. Well, I could probably do that. Right. <laughs> I like the enthusiasm. Tea first. Okay. All right. Abernathy, Abernathy. And coming downstairs is a uh, gnome, and um, the stairs are sized for dwarves and gnomes, <laughs> but there is a certain amount of <laughs> <laughs> coming down the stairs, because uh, Myrtle. Myrtle. Thank you. Myrtle is uh, not the youngest gnome. <laughs> Myrtle sort of hops down the last few steps, walks over to and goes, look, look at this one! And um, she has sort of glasses with various attachments <laughs> on but only over one eye yeah. the is other is like, is it like the the thing from toy story where the guy mm. just goes tick, 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 tick. <laughs> yeah so it's very much that setup but the other side is just a normal pair of glasses yeah. um her hair is very gray and frizzy but in a very loose bun and she tends to wear sort of quite outsized smock style things mm -hmm. uh yes so and just me and look at look at this one and this is kind of just holding up she can go look and it is a beautiful, intricate pocket watch that, when flipped open, a small couple flip up and turn around and do a little dance. It is absolutely gorgeous. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Your, your, your talent takes my breath away every time. Oh, this one's a special commission. I'm <laughs> 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 oh, making sure that one's going to the right place. 
Um, the picture on this one, right, hang on a minute. It reaches into a pocket, then another pocket, then another pocket. And, ah, this one. Um, just show us in love, you know, no biggie. <laughs> <laughs> right, yes. You know, thank you, you know. Right, oh, is this the couple from, no, how long ago was it now that they oh, came in? six weeks now. Six weeks ago, oh, now. You did all that in six weeks. Mm. Right, yes, um, yes, I think I've still got some preliminary sketches that I made, I'm sure I can. When when do they need this by? Um, well, I think it was supposed to be a gift for a birthday or something. Oh, hang on. <laughs> Keep things. Um, ah, the, 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 the third of, yes, there's plenty of time. Right, okay. Well, right. I'll, um, I'll crack, crack on with that maybe after lunch then. Ah, lovely. Oh, right, the lighting's a little bit better for that. I'll go work on the next one. Tick, tick, tick. Oh, turns around, gives you a peck on the cheek. Just to jump up a bit. Aww. And then... Oh, no. <laughs> goes back up the stairs. <laughs> as I would like to say, but there'll be tea in about five minutes. <clears throat> she is so going to die. Yeah. <laughs> oh! Stop making it sound like a threat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Let's <laughs> not just even introduce us. <laughs> 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 Um, she has to die now <laughs> you know uh, from experience that Myrtle will forget so you have to bring her the tea okay gets very I make tea badly do you want to roll for it? yeah <laughs> surprisingly you can make it. You if it's, it if it's good then it's, it's good well it's just a wonderful fluke <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to game. make it hang on. Mr. What would you like to roll for it? making tea? I think I'll make this your choice, unless it's ridiculous, and then I'll say no. I'm like, <laughs> oh, oh, yes. yeah! no <laughs> I would like to roll intelligence. Just flat. <laughs> because because what I I'm trying to this. do is like remember and get it right and be oh, like. Oh, however Nathy likes it. Yeah. Likes it, so yeah. Like, please do. Go for it. Oh, please work. <laughs> No. 13. Ooh. 13. I love you... how high the stakes are. <laughs> 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 it's like, this has to work. Oh! Should we, should we get you one more cup of tea? It's very important. <laughs> you managed to get everyone's tea order correct. It's not an exceptional cup of tea. tea. It's fine. It's You've made the tea people like. Like, you've remembered one milk, two sugars. Like, you remember that. That's fine. She's on it. On it. I love how this is like the year. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, you pass it on the tea. And do you get started with the day's work? Well, do you continue the day's I, work? I would I would probably take the tea up for Myrtle. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, Myrtle's cup is, of course, slightly small. <laughs> Getting better. It's nearly passable. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry, it's my parent. I'm good. <laughs> yeah. I'll, uh, I'll be back down in, a, in another minute. Just, um... Well, you know. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Head upstairs. Mm -hmm. to get that is fine. Did you start working? No, I just stand behind the counter looking like really ready just in case any customers come in. You don't actually do anything. Well, no, but the thing to do isn't. I'm, I'm not. Yeah, no, I can't start without oh, a whistle pocket. How, how old is a shark <laughs> <laughs> 26. 26. <laughs> She's never had a proper job before. Oh, God. So, okay. She's taking it very seriously. Is that your hit list? <laughs> <laughs> 26. Uh, I'm going down. Viorica, yes. after a couple of wrong turns, you arrive at the Tillerton household. <laughs> it is uh, far more resplendent than the Ravenshade household. It is clearly a family that has been... Like, there's a sturdiness to this house that a lot of the um, manor-born houses do not have. Mm. There is a certain sense of... Um, stability. Mm -hmm. An old family that's been here for some time. Mm -hmm. You know? Yes, absolutely. Cool. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to try and go up to the front door uh, and give a, well, I don't know whether it would be pulling a chain or what, but give a resounding sort of summons, see what happens. Oh, there's a chain. So, pull the chain. Door opens. Uh, yes. Ah, my dear sir. Um, could I possibly, uh, th th there is a lady who, who I believe resides here, uh, uh, purveyor of, of dreams? 
Oh, really? <laughs> 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 trying to perform, Ed. Um, no. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> the door closes in your face. Yes, that doesn't surprise me at all, to be really honest. Um, you are woken by a knock at the door. Mm-hmm. Are they all with you? Mm-hmm. Grand. Oh, um, Lord. Right. <laughs> at the knock at the door, there's a... Uh, but, oh, I think yeah. I think the way to describe it would be <laughs> like yeah, like literally <laughs> spoon central. Wow, okay. of like like little kittens, but not so little. No, no, I Very think cute. like Alethra is yes. in front of me. Yes, who I'm spooning. Yes, myself. Yes, and then Kara, who yes. is spooning the two of us yes. <laughs> into her. Would you like to describe Alethra, Kara, mm. and then yourself, please? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Alethra is uh, kind of human looking, uh, long, like braided back, kind of like warrior braid esque. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, probably accidentally, like, you know, when falls, someone falls asleep with their like half moon spectacles on. Yep. Um, and kind of like like lying on the bed next to, to her. Um, kind of very pale skin um, in like a nighty of, like, a, of some sort. <laughs> um, probably quite like smaller than me so say around like five foot four or so, like something like that sure. um quite pale clear skin um behind me <laughs> is Kara, who is a uh, who spoke just a second ago who is a goliath yes cool. um who uh probably is very kind of like broad-shouldered ripped to shreds <laughs> <laughs> that she is, that she is. Um, and, uh, also kind of, like, very much, um, warrior braid, but, but unlike Alethra, it is now, like, like, out of place, and very, like, <laughs> ruffled around, like, very black, dark, mm-hmm. um, with, I'd say, very, like, um, uh, kind of, like, tanned olive, uh, skin, mm-hmm. um, yeah, with her arm over me, mm-hmm. and myself, um, with kind of, like, light, uh, blondish hair, that goes down to around about like her neck, um, with uh, two chains that are in her lip that then curl round to her ears. So uh, thanks. And you're sleeping um, in a triple spoon. You are a very, very. I'm very, very, very warm. <laughs> <laughs> very it's warm. just the chains with two people that might bat them in the. Oh, night. oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I think this has happened once or twice. Ow. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, and then, uh, well, she hasn't actually got her normal attire on yet, no. so I don't have to de- describe any of that. Um, <laughs> also, your hair's down. For my one. hair, yeah, my hair's pretty much down. Mm-hmm. Um, very pale, kind of like esque skin, and probably also like a kind of pinkish night nighty. Pinkish. Would you like to describe your eyes? My eyes are pupilless. Uh, they are entirely white, which is quite eerie, but also kind of tr- quite transfixing at the same time. Um, Kara has sort of rolled over and is just like, uh, uh, just holding her head, like getting up. Oh, right. Good morning, sweetheart. Mm. And I'll roll over and kiss her shoulder. Mm. And roll over to Lethra and then go, wakey, wakey, wakey. Oh. Come on. No, Come on, Kara. No. Kara. She's not doing it. Come on. <laughs> Kara. Three. Two, and we both push her off the bed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Roll a strength check. Oh, no. Or do you want to, or do you want to give Kara advantage? I will give Kara advantage. Yeah. She's definitely more strong. No! That no, one! she did Whoa. not! <laughs> that one. Um, oh, no, so for the advantage. Uh, okay, yeah, advantage. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so together, <laughs> and that just <laughs> falls out of the bed and just lands on the ground in a heap. Morning! Why? This is my house. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible people. Um, I would like move the the. I probably. I don't think I probably need a duvet. No. I think. I think Carl was probably yeah, the duvet. I think you're absolutely fine. Carl's sort of get, giggling and <laughs> getting up on the bed. It's <laughs> just getting up and. Um, <sighs> and I will uh, go towards the door. As it goes, uh, the uh, uh, <clears throat> what? It's my house. And I just sort of get past you and open the door. Yep. Someone at the door to see you, madam. Well, uh, one of your uh, friends. <laughs> <laughs> Very well, thank you. Hang on, which one? 
the uh, not 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 the Goliath. <laughs> right, thank you. Door's closed. <laughs> I'm literally just stood there, folding my arms. I think someone wants you. I think it's my house now. <laughs> <laughs> From the bed again. <laughs> yeah. And I will um, leave the the bed. Do you the get dressed? In my <laughs> yeah, in my in my ninety, and then leave to, and five step, steps later, go like. Uh, um, the butler looks at you with a. What. Nothing. <laughs> right, yes, yes, no, 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 I suppose. Uh, right, yes. <clears throat> and I will re enter, you know, sheepishly look at Kara and then ignore Alethra <laughs> <laughs> and go and put on my normal attire, which is a um, kind of pink shirt with a pink cravat, uh, mm. long, uh, deep green, like, swallow tail coat that has um, an inlay of something that kind of looks like the fleur de lis, but not quite, because it looks like swirls and stuff that are. Dream esque like, uh, why not? Those very visible dreams that we all have. They are dreams. <laughs> Check out the picture that Grace has done. Um, yeah, yeah. And the Absolutely. long green uh, trousers with boots with the pink sole at the bottom because that's also awesome. Yeah. Uh, and so sort of Labutons but pink. Yes. No. 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 Just so it's green, and then the the bottom of it underneath. Yeah. Lebutons are red. Oh, yeah, no, 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 in which case, correct. But it was you're not wearing high heels. No. 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 Yeah. Exactly. Correct. They're not high heel. They are. They are like Dot That's Martins. Right. Yeah. Cool. Um, and... So like really rad Lebutons. Yeah. yeah. Uh, For the audience who wear D and D and Lebutons over there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Um, and I'll grab my uh, staff and head head on down. The staff. What does it look like? Uh, it's. Quite thin, uh, long wooden, again with some kind of swells within it, and because Grace also did this, um, <laughs> a hand wrap with um, kind yeah. of like jewels that are falling down from it. Oh, and of course, uh, the chain around my neck with two uh, engagement rings around them as well. Are they not with this as well? No, 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 that's 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 just a separate thing. The, the original yeah, like, uh, engagement rings are always Do you have a hair back up as well? Yes, I'll slick it back, like... <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Just like because oh. it's, it's it's clipped short on the sides, yeah. Yeah, it's it, it's kind of like just double, like greased back, mm, like nice. that. Do I have a spell? I probably have a spell for something like this. I mean, you are a spellcaster, correct? They would we be... should have some D and D happen in this game. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of what I'm running a shot. <laughs> yeah, no, like, I would like pre pre yeah, presentation just be like cool and like oh, actually yeah, yeah. within oh. with like like literal glitter like so poofs. Cool. Mm. Off. People yeah. often say to me, Chris, what do you spell like in real life? Press digitation. Yeah. A, it does yeah. a lot of things, thing. and B, I could do my hair with a hand. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I could spend hours combing it yeah. in one direction. Yeah, oh. And do the makeup as well. Stuff on top. Yeah. Um, good, right. Uh, you walk to the door, and mm -hmm. uh, the butler is sort of walking a step behind you, and as you get it sort of gets in front of you and opens the door for you, and. Uh, mm. uh, quite. You're late. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see why that's relevant. <laughs> yes, no, I suppose it's not. Come on in. Right, no, I need you to come with me. Why? We need to. Did I? The butler's right there. What? <laughs> I need to get you out because I need to talk about things that I do not want to talk about in front of people. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no. Turns and walks away. What's, what's, what's their name? Uh, the butler is called <laughs> Smythe. Smythe. <laughs> Smythe. Smythe. Stevens and Smythe. <clears throat> making these up as I go along. Uh, Smythe. <laughs> butler A. Butler B. Yeah. Butler B. <laughs> yeah. Butler B. Um, <laughs> so butler B. Smythe. Butler well, A. Butler B. You know the um, the um, the thing that we talked about. A couple of days ago. Yes, the highs. <laughs> Please don't say such things out loud. At what highs? No. <laughs> I'm trying to be subtle. All right, all right, fine. Look, I need to be with you and the rest of the the the, the perpetrators. Uh, you know uh, that you're going to be one of these perpetrators, so maybe yes. don't call them perpetrators. <laughs> Why not? That's all. Anyway, I need you and the rest of our... our, 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 our uh, Gang, posse. No, 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 no. It's, it's nothing so unrefined. <laughs> what we are is a... Gang posse fine. <laughs> <laughs> a gang posse? A gang posse is exactly what we are. We are, we are, we are, we are a gang posse. <laughs> right. Therefore, what I need you to do is come with me and pick up the rest of them. 
You know where the rest of You don't are. know where they are, do you? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I need you. You are the most... I am the overseer. Indeed. You are the leader. Yeah, well, yeah. Mm-hmm. This is what I'm looking for. Mm. A little bit of respect and attention in this house. Not attention, but respect and, and, and um, responsibility. Notoriety? Well, could do. <laughs> uh, I'd enjoy that. Kara has walked up from behind mm. and. Oh, is... good lord! <laughs> You've met Kara. I know. It's <laughs> <laughs> so what I do. Yeah. yeah. Kara is about seven foot two. Like Kara's huge. That's what I mean. It's anyone who's bigger than me is still yeah. elicits a bit of. I will. I will kind of like you know when you know someone's behind you yes, and yeah. like kind of like gently. I imagine her waist is probably here and like kind of grab my like very very nicely and gently just kind of like grab my hand around her waist and kind of just like. Oh, like, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, darling. Oh, I'm just on my way to work, love. And uh, she leans down, gives you a kiss, and then um, walks uh, out. She is dressed in her flaming fist outfit, ready to go and push the lower city. Like, watch her leave. Oh, you can always watch her leave. Trousers are tight. <laughs> <laughs> that are you? No. How could I? How unrefined. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> they are. Um... She is very um, useful mm. in a in a tight well. squeeze. <laughs> <laughs> yes, let's go. Yes. <laughs> Where are you going? I don't know. Um, well, <laughs> well, I I only actually know yes. of Abernathy's shop. Yes. So I would head straight there. Yeah. That's. Are you aware of? I'm aware. <laughs> But um, and you don't know where to look. Of the place. No, I'm, I think I'm aware of the place. You, you say what you're going to say? I was going to go to the underworld. To, uh, to under 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 the underworld. I'm going to go to the underworld. Under Tone <laughs> shift. Welcome yeah. to Helmsen. I imagine under -seller. you know where... Through the underseller, yes. yes. <laughs> no, <laughs> you would probably know where he lives, but I would... No, know that was the thing. I would know where I would be. But able... you wouldn't know how to get there. I would know how to get to somewhere where he sometimes hung out. If I wanted anything that was sort of more certain than that, that's where I would. <laughs> just not going to find me. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the the thing is, you are. knowing your like, character, <sighs> going a place where you sometimes hang out might be enough. So that's what I'm. Yeah, very but much. The thing is, if you were going to take me to Abernathy's shop first, then that would definitely. I would me. prefer if we went to. <laughs> yeah, 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 the character's not been introduced yet. Yeah. First, if that's all right with everyone. <laughs> yeah. Let's. So patient. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Never mind. He's, He's not ready. Stall. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Where are you taking me now? To, 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 um, um, the watchmaker. Yes. Ah, that went, well, I know. I don't think, I think that there might be another way. We need to go to the, the underseller. Um. No, we knew, I understand, but it's early enough in the day, it may have not got, is he? Yes, I understand. But therefore, how do we get there again? <laughs> <laughs> it's under the market square of the upper city. Yes. You'd be hard pressed to lose it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> kind of thing, obviously, it didn't work. Right, shall we, shall we, I will kind of just very gently grab him by the collar and just be like, <laughs> yes, and like yes. without words. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's exactly what I need. You walk from the Manor Born, uh, which is the uh, where most of the manors of the upper city are, towards uh, you pass through the Temple District, and there's quite a lot of very large, very wide, um, wide temples. Oh, yeah, they're, they're very beautiful mm. the city. And uh, you do see a uh, already at this time of morning very heavy guard presence. The guard and the Flaming Fist are not the same thing; they are separate organisations. The guard guards the upper city. The Flaming Fist brutally looks after the uh, lower city and the outer city. Make well. sure there's no trouble. Exactly. Yeah. And the outer city doesn't really get policed that much. So, heading as you are north, well, north, northeast, uh, you head towards the wide. The wide is the market in the mm. upper city, and it is a very resplendent market. This is not like, um, you know, borough. This is very <laughs> much a um, market where the finest goods and wares are on display, and it is um, very much high end. Mm -hmm. However, you avoid the um, shouts and the canvassing that's already happening around there, and instead mm -hmm. turn into one of the many stone archways that surround the wide, because the wide, being such a large open space, not being built on, has been built up. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you are heading underneath yeah. it. Yes, that's it. Because underneath the wide is the underseller. The underseller is a maze of storage chambers, ale cellars, cobwebbed tunnels, 
the archways do connect with each other and there is a sort of unspoken bar dive etc that kind of extends through all of it and there are people involved in running it who uh, could be spoken to if you wanted to mm -hmm. although you do know that down here the uh, quality and salubriousness of the upper city are very quickly fades into yes. this is the dodgiest bit of the upper city as you head down through one of these archways, you are walking through like an, an, this cellar space and there are people sat around tables, some drinking, some smoking. It is quite early, so that it's not yeah, quite it's as debauched not, as it yeah. can be. But uh, you are making your way through it. You'd probably need to... Finding this person might yes. be quite difficult, just meandering through these various cellars. And also, frankly, if you meander through these various cellars for too long, you may meander out of the undercellar into the network of tunnels that you know exist under the upper city. And who knows what you mm -hmm. might find or be found by. Mm -hmm. Caution is advised. Yes. So there would be, uh, I, there is, I assume, a main hub uh, where... Yes, there is a, a, cent a central would... point with a very large bar. Yes. Uh, and uh, I can't remember the name of them. Helter? Helter, yes. yes. That's not how Helter goes by, though. Understood. Oh, dang it, I can't remember now. Helter goes by ribbons. That's right. Uh, I'm the thing wrong. Yes. Uh, so uh, what I would be looking for is ribbons. Who I would be looking for is ribbons. Sure. As you make way through to the central space of the undercellar, which is the largest and widest bit of it, and looks like it was a central sewer drain at one point that has been cleaned out and looked after a little bit. Mm -hmm. Two stories at this point, so it is quite, quite big. Mm -hmm. Ribbons is hard to miss because Ribbons is sprawled over one end of the bar and clearly quite unconscious. <laughs> um, you're not too worried about that because, well, Ribbons isn't a very nice person. And you're aware that Ribbons has a, um, let's put it this way, a face covered in scars and they haven't been given by um, yes. nice little pets. <laughs> Where Dueling Society has just been ugly. Dueling Society, probably. Are you reckon? Yeah. Okay. I would not have investigated that far. No, too much for me. Um, so yes, yes I he would, is sprawled over the one end. I, I would go over and. Not... Are you sure? What? I mean, it's not very good to wake a man when he's sleeping. Give me a second. I mean, I know how to. Okay. No, no. My apologies. I leave you to your. Uh... No, no. No, no, no. I, I, I agree. <laughs> I insist. I, I don't know. <laughs> Do you want to roll off? I'll make you. <laughs> yeah, <go on. laughs> no, I will. I will go over and give him a gentle uh, poke underneath the ribs, sort of in that kind of area, to see where anything oh. anything happens. With lightning reflexes, mm -hmm. ribbons leaps up, turns, and a dagger that you yeah. don't know where the fuck it came yeah. from just <laughs> goes flying out and just <laughs> goes straight past your head. And uh, someone who is holding a tank and drinking just suddenly goes mm, as a dagger has grown <laughs> out of the bottom <laughs> of it. <laughs> Looks around. I think just pouring out. I will pay for tries it. to put tries to put it down. Holds <laughs> 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 it, it to their chest. Uh, what? Told you. What, I know. Do you want only a uh, the whereabouts of a? Yeah. Uh, a fellow, the the um, the uh, the man who can get you. What do you want? I, I I need him for a for a. This guy, and then I'll literally make a visual of the the the, the, the person, person we're about I, to meet. The, yes, the person yes. we're about to meet. What's it worth to you? Ooh, uh... I'll cast the tech thoughts. <laughs> can you do so invisibly? <laughs> Would you like to roll a sleight of hand check yeah, to do it? Yeah, come on, why not? Let's make, let's make or it. Or you could try and use a deception check to um, try and draw <laughs> his attention <laughs> to um, Viorica in more detail because he is kind of death glaring Viorica. I will do deception because that's a plus one <laughs> rather than zero. Yep. <laughs> Eleven! Uh, he doesn't notice as he's just staring down Viorica as you step back a little and just very surreptitiously. How do you cast your magic? What does it look like? Um, Ooh, yeah. Good question. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> damn. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the <laughs> eyes would kind of like flare up ever so slightly mm. in like a brighter white light. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, the her arcane focus are her two rings. Yes. Oh, so no. they would kind of um, like, like just 
turn ever so slightly, like like Keep kind on. of like a, like cogs turning, like yeah, yeah, yeah. and then stop. And that would that would be generally just as simple as it. Yeah. Now, to detect thoughts, as far as I'm aware, the person who you are detecting thoughts <clears> does not know you are detecting their thoughts unless you pry deeper unless into I their thoughts. Unless I pry deeper, correct. Yeah. Yeah. So once I've shown the um, the picture, mm -hmm. I will pretty much cast the tech thoughts so that it's like you know pink elephant as soon as you like yeah. where is where is this person mm -hmm. it's like oh don't, i would try and like Focus on that as that. yeah <laughs> um you cast the spell and um ribbons is very clearly thinking over there and it has a sort of men you, you sort of like get a mental pathway yeah. to go to one of yeah. the underseller's side rooms which you know does sometimes function as a brothel <laughs> and the part that you are heading towards is definitely <clears throat> part of the brothel bit mm -hmm. um, I'm still glaring daggers I will turn go and on. leave him <laughs> just go that's totally understood so you start heading in the right direction mm -hmm. it is him <laughs> I still want to leave. Right, give me a gold and we'll forget about it. <laughs> I don't know if you know much about the opera, but we don't carry money. I can get you more gold than that. You'll just have to give me time. It'll never happen again, I d do assure you. I remember your face. Please do. Is that there? He's over there, where right, your friend's right. yes. already going. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll make sure she doesn't do anything stupid. Okay. Come in, come in. But yeah, he has taken very serious note of your being. Yes, yes, I didn't realize that I could do that with such a small... Anyway, <laughs> yes. Uh, you're both heading in the general direction of... What have I just done? How did that end? What have I just... Go for no. Right. <laughs> it's fine. I didn't need to come back down here often. As you head through the undercellar, where are they heading to? Where are you at this point in time? Um, that's a good question. But you sort of give me the very vague outline. So yeah, I'm in a side room in the slightly in the slightly <laughs> brothelly bit <laughs> of the yes, you are. Mm -hmm. Part of the thing. Sorry, yeah. I think it's <laughs> quite a literal interpretation. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and it's probably it's probably a bit early in the day for for anything of, of great import to be happening in there. Um, <laughs> Thank you, because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think we uh, we need, we need that just yet. But um, oh. yes, uh, he's That's he's, that. probably, <laughs> he's probably in there thinking through what he's going to do uh, with his day. He's thinking. Do you have a sort of you, go, you do work here sometimes? Do you have a room of your own? Do you have a space that is oh, like? Yeah. You wouldn't necessarily. This wouldn't necessarily be a place you entertain. This could be a space that you have actually bought for yourself, or even carved out a bit. Like it's up to yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. No, probably you would actually. Um, that's that's a, that's a good suggestion. Mm. Um, he he does have what's considered his own room, basically at this wow. point, um, which is not by any conventional standard an office, but <laughs> for his intent and purpose. Yes, could be. May as well be. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Lovely. Um, which is sort of behind some curtains, or carved in some circular shape, carved into one of the walls. Cool. As they pass through the curtains into your space, I presume it's quite spartan. There's not a lot of stuff. Not loads of stuff. Not no, really stuff there's, there's like you know something equivalent to a sort of futon sort of thing in there, <laughs> yeah. um, and and maybe a small table. Okay, that's about it. And as they walk in, who do they see? Uh, so you see um, a uh, rather tall, well, not that tall, uh, sort of six foot, uh, tiefling uh, man. He is sort of green skinned um, and has uh, sort of black eyes with red irises um, and horns that are quite sort of angular. They point directly forwards and then come sort of backwards again, uh, right. quite pointy, yeah. not, not particularly curly. <laughs> um, and has black hair, black beard, probably looks like they're in their um, sort of late 20s. Um, and, you know, he's, he's a good looking guy. Uh, <laughs> wearing nice. wearing a, not, not an entirely dissimilar outfit to what I'm wearing now. Um, <laughs> slightly, slightly less modern. Uh, sort of white, yeah, white shirt, uh, probably a purple waistcoat. Um, something, something around the neck, not a, not a tie, but... It's just, a cravat. Yeah, sort of cravat. Yeah. Um, and... Yeah, you also see in the room there are a couple of, sort of scimitars in there, um, and uh, they've got 
just sort of yeah some sort of playing cards around the place mm -hmm. and that's yeah that's probably more or less what you see um, what are you doing what am i doing good question um <laughs> they're sort of going through a sort of small notebook um just kind of looking at i mean you don't know what it is from your perspective you can just see a little black book but that's what they're going that's what he's going <laughs> through great <laughs> Uh, my dear sir, <clears throat> may we have a moment of your time? Oh, good morning. Mm. Oh, look, you've made a friend. <laughs> I'm proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> it was a long, drawn-out process, I may say. Hello. Pleasure to meet you. I'm coming. Oh, no, I know exactly who you are. Oh, really? Yes, How you appear you know? in everyone else's dreams nowadays. You're the real hot thing on people's minds, aren't you? <laughs> Oh, well, that was dangerous telling me that. No. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, before we now head on. <laughs> oh, do we stay here? <laughs> Let go of those hands. <laughs> now, hang on. Whether or not he is in people's dreams, that is something we can both deal with later. You are both part of my... If you use the word entourage, <laughs> then... <laughs> You told me not to last time, so I'll try not to. I can't. What did we call it? Gang posse? <laughs> <laughs> oh, such an improvement. <laughs> I meant them as two separate words, but now it's become one. <laughs> Gang posse. I, I, this is what we shall call ourselves. I believe it's a Did you uh, really street. let him get away with of that? Of course. Oh, God. What's wrong with it? Have I'm you not... heard? Have you heard when he says it? Say it again. Gang yeah. posse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Fair How point. could you not? That is. <laughs> Oh, you stand corrected. Really, so um, what we need you to do is to be at House Raven Shade by two of the clock. Do you have anything to do in the meantime? Uh, I've always got something I can be getting up to, don't I? Well, exactly. But what I'm saying is, do you have anything to do in the meantime? <laughs> um, not specifically. Or anyone to do? Oh, hush, child. Oh wow, you really have been uh, looking at people's dreams, haven't you? Mm. Uh, no, I, I don't have anything uh, particularly planned out yet. Why? Did you want me to come with you now? Yes, if you please. It's just so much easier to keep hold of you if we know where you are. Do you want me to hold your hand? Please. Do it. Oh, wait, no. I, I was joking. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, who's going to guide me? I've got to keep my eyes shut whilst I'm in here. The smell is just awful. <laughs> now, point, Royce, look, where are we going? I, I, uh, yes, the shop. Abernathy's. Mm. Oh, right. Yeah. Do you know him as well, then? And Whistle Pockets Pocket Watches. Mm. I mean, that's the more fun part of the name, isn't it, really? It really is. <laughs> so quaint. Uh, now, yes, I do, know, I do know the place fairly well, actually. You don't have to pack anything? Should we go back to your room? Uh, well, I'll take uh, these, these boys with me and just picks up the scimitars and puts them on his waist. But, uh, oh, how, um... Mm. <laughs> anyway, uh, You never let's... know what you're going to run into, do you? Yeah, I don't want to run into one of those. That's, let's keep going. This is fine. Excellent. Let's do that, then. Okay. I'll lead the way, shall I? Please. All right, I'm not holding your hand. That was a joke. I need to make that crystal clear. <laughs> no loss. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, it's um, on hand. <laughs> <laughs> I leave. <laughs> and walk. <laughs> Cohen, uh, yeah, start, uh, starts leading them in the direction of Abernathy's. Because yeah, you can get there underneath the... I don't you, know if we can go through the tunnel network. Wouldn't recommend it. This Mine, is yes. full of dangerous things. <laughs> yes, and one of you is holding <laughs> weaponry. I'm just putting yeah, it out yeah, there. Yeah, really. yeah. <laughs> okay, so you're heading back up to the wide and yes. then out. Uh, as you head back up out of the undercellar, get back out, um, and make your way through the wide and are heading now in a southern, yeah, basically southern direction. Uh, you head out of the wide, and there is quite a large gate in front of you, which is the titular Boulder's Gate. Mm -hmm. The first gate, the main gate to the city. Um, there are the guard outside of this gate, and they're not checking people going out of the upper city, so none of you need to show your identification. Uh, but they do sort of nod politely at um, Viorica, and one gives you a slight bit of side eye, but nothing to, nothing to worry about. This is what you're used to. I wink at them. <laughs> oh, no way. They wink back. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. And all three of you are heading to Bloomridge. You know where you're going. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. you've been there before. Yeah, I know. I know Bloomridge. Exactly. You've... I have been there before, but if someone will take me, I want them to. Right. <laughs> and you are all heading down towards Abernathy's shop. But that's where we're going to take our first break. Woo! <laughs> so, thank you for joining us, everyone. We'll be back in roughly five minutes or so. There'll be a countdown timer, so you'll be sure. But uh, everyone say goodbye.
Bye for now. Bye. Bye.
And we're back! Yay! <laughs> Very good. Right. Splendid. All right, everyone. Is everyone ready to continue? Woo! Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was a yes. Yeah. Good. <laughs> I believe three of you reprobates were going to find two other ones. Yes. Yes. That's quite right. It's going to be really convenient for the rest of the campaign. I know, right? It's going to be so good. It's going to be so good. planned. Um, <laughs> good. <laughs> Uh, you are all heading out of uh, Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate, there is a road that goes very, very steeply through the steeps, huh? yes. uh, all the way down to the harbour. And also in front of there is also the main like harbour space. So this is very clearly like the main thoroughfare of goods and transport up to the wide. So there are a lot of people travelling up and down through this. Some merchants are trying their luck at the gate, but are being turned away because they don't have a symbol of a patriarch house. So... There is a certain, again, classism here too, in the same way. But oh, you can... I thought they were allowed in the day. Sometimes. Depends on the person. No, no. Yeah. What? The Petriars are always in control. No, no, no. Wow. Well, <laughs> that's true. You are moving down through the steeps and you head into Bloom Ridge, which you know quite well, and you are able to bring them to Abernathy's Art Shop, which you are aware of. Well... Here we are. If you couldn't tell by the sign. Well, yes, it, 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 this is a, a, a home away from home mm. for me. It is quite a quite a wonderful uh, place to come and clear one's mind. Are we just going to stare at it or go in? Uh, it, uh, I walk in. Uh, <laughs> I like her. Uh, <laughs> ding, ding. What are you two up to? Yeah, I, I'm... Welcome <laughs> to Abernathy's Art Supplies. Would you like to buy some art stuff? Who are you? Yes, who are you? You're real. What? You're high. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. He's what? Your real welcome here <laughs> in the supplies of arts. Allow me, the apprentice to Mr. Wicklepocket, Mr. Pocket, <laughs> to introduce you to our shop. Hang on a moment. Have I met you before? How could you forget such a person? Are you? Were you food girl? <laughs> food girl. <laughs> this ah! is food girl. What the is going on here? Oh, did she was yeah, it was quite funny. She was um, wandering around at a party at a party at the end of the night looking for food. Just yeah. so sort of like rummaging around the tables. What was it you were looking for? Like avocado and crab or something? <laughs> oh yes, I've had those. They're rather nice. Wait, 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 what, what, wait, wait. When was this party? Who is this person? How do you two know each other? Oh, that's nothing to do with you. Dear God, Steve, please enter the <laughs> scene. <laughs> <laughs> um, is everything okay? Ah, Mr. Abernathy. Of York, uh... mm. Sorry. <laughs> yes, this is uh, Lilith and uh, this man. Colin, pleasure to meet you. Mm-hmm. Lovely to meet you. Welcome to the store. Um, have you been assisted with any yes, of your... Yes, yes. yes. he's been an excellent <coughs> apprentice as an assistant. Uh, well, 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 well. Does, does she know about the... Uh... The, uh... I know all about the various art supplies no, 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 we have no, no. in the store. One second, madam. One second. Does she know about the... Uh... <laughs> Didn't we talk about a couple and of I, I, oh. I telepathically, because I can do this, uh, say in and your head... this is head, not magic. This is just This is not magic. This do. is an inane ability that I have. An inane ability that you have. Oh, come on! <laughs> Damn! Um... This is an ability that I have. And just go into your head. Heist. He wants to talk about the heist. Oh, right. Mm. Yes. Uh, no. What? Right. Yes. I understood. Right. I understood. I presume. Um, but no. 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 Right. right. No. Well, in which case, could we discuss? Uh-huh. Right. Which is not... Yeah. Well, I can um, make tea. Yes, for instance. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I will get you a lot would of you, very nice tea. Do you mind tea. awfully? They might, I think there are more mugs out the back, but I'll, you might I'll have find... to swirl them around. None of the metallic paints, because they're quite poisonous. Just swirl oh, the other, swirl the other mugs out and like... The mugs. Right. Don't no. poison the... Yeah. Are you going to be quite all right, my dear? I'm... Good at making tea, okay. so yes. Uh, if I could well. possibly request, uh, I don't, what what teas do you have? Tea. Bra- what would you like? Brown tea. And well, uh, something tea. something fruity uh, aspect. He'll have whatever's good. Very right. Good. We only have one type. Just bring that <laughs> one, okay? Did Did you want some tea, Mister Mister Kern? 
I, I quite like to watch you make it. It sounds like it's going to be very entertaining. <laughs> Could you uh, keep yourself under control whilst we discuss the, 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 the matter at hand? I'm right, I, I of leave. course. Sorry. I'll let, I'll let our friend go and make some tea. A Shakti has already left. <laughs> right, now, lady and gentlemen, could we get down to discussing the... Um, Heist. Heist. Heist, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose we're all here now. We can at least say that, yes, right, fine. So, now, do we all know what our roles are going to be? You, you said you... When we last talked, you said you had this very under control. Yes, you knew I exactly what you were doing. Absolutely. And I'm saying, does everyone remember what I told them? You said you, you wanted me them... to come and do something, that it was very important, and that you would tell me about right, it right, later. All right, all right, all right, all right. There is this heist that is happening in... Raven Shade. No, 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 when? Oh, it's two o'clock, you said. <laughs> It's just when the heist is actually happening. It's the meeting we're going to have a, 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 a date has not been confirmed. Yet. Oh God! <laughs> right. So the, 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 let me just check. Just one, one. No, no. Sorry, we have no date. <laughs> what? One second. The reason being that there needs to be a collection of this, 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 this art, which is going to be happening at Raven Hall. You haven't really talked to Sorella about it in that much detail yet. Uh, so there will be a collection of art that is happening, and there will be a heist. Therefore, we are going to be the people who... It sounds like we need to go and talk to somebody else. <laughs> somebody with more sure information. That, I wanted to make sure that we were all on the same page before we went to talk to anybody else, so that therefore we were all on the same page. I mean, I think we're still on the front cover. If we're fine, right. fine, all right. Well, if that's okay, and we're all on the front cover, then we are all on the same page. To be honest, most art is pretty much all front cover. Exactly. <laughs> right, so, if we are all on the same page, we know that we're all part of this... Heist. Heist, yes. Yes? Yes. Good, right, in which case, well, who should we go and talk to? Who do you think? Sarala. There you right, go. Yes. Well done, <laughs> proud of you. Understood, thank you. Thank you. Right, if, if, which... if you are needing me in more of a... But a professional artist kind of capacity then is like as in if I'm going to be you said there was an art collection it yes, looked slightly yes. strange would it not if I went without my bring your paint I was thinking about you my paint do any painting well I didn't know what it would make him comfortable oh I see you say that is what you wish then then please please do 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 Right, okay. Now, I said one thing, and she said something else, and I've only been given one answer, right. and I'm not entirely sure which one that was in reference to. What would you like to bring? My apprentice. What? Well, you see, I think it looked rather odd, would it not, if I just turned up on my own without trying to... Can like, she be it's... trusted? She makes good tea. That's not... <laughs> well, that's yet to be Please proven. let her roll. <laughs> <laughs> Show me, please roll to make tea. <laughs> <laughs> the second tea roll of the campaign. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's how many. <laughs> <laughs> now to the rule. <laughs> that's, a, that's a four. That's, that's a four total. Oh, wow. That, that's four. Four is what that is for. Four? Is it, is it... four? Good. Um, you come back in with <laughs> four mugs of tea. God, I didn't wash the paint out properly. Please can I, I cast presentation on my mug? <laughs> Why? Thank it's a perfectly good cup of tea. Thank you very much. Indeed. <laughs> good lord, it's, yes, that is. It uh, smells of a very metallic paint. Yes, it does. <laughs> what a what a mug. Yes. <laughs> now, could I please Here's your tea? Oh, thank you. Okay. It very much smells like metal. <laughs> I cast mending on the tea. <laughs> <laughs> she make like a sort of metallic, like uh, cream sort of. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to like lift that, like, 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 like oil above water. Just, like... <laughs> you want to lift the metal compounds out of your tea to form a disc on the top of your tea. Correct. Uh, uh, uh. I would allow mending to do that. It will yeah. take a minute because mending takes a minute to yeah. cast. <laughs> 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 As you I'm, mend your tea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Abulati takes a sip and just throws it from her. Hmm. Apple blossom white, I think that was. <laughs> <laughs> you taste that in all your paints. <laughs> now, dear, uh, 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 what's, what, what's her name? It's called the Shag. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Either <laughs> it, her name is. A shakti, what she is called. I, I put two sentences together there and it came out all wrong. She's called a shakti. I mean, maybe in future, 
Just ask the person rather than right, me. Right, right. Sorry, understood. That is not the way we do things in the upper city. But nevertheless, if... Uh, to, uh, 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 what is my name? A shark tea. A shark tea? A shark tea. A shark tea. A shark tea. A shark. You can just call me Ash. Ash. That's, yeah. that's, that will do. Uh, very well. Are you to be trusted? <coughs> what? Well, I don't know what you're talking about. Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't hear that. <laughs> of my own last is, is, is she to be trusted? Well, yes. I mean, oh. I trust her. Well, well, I haven't okay. known her that long, but like, no, the no, shop's no, still no, here. No, no. I, I, quite I, I trust you, I'm otherwise, I would not have asked you to come along. I on haven't this, nicked um, anything. No, that's good. That's. I do not steal things. Right, you said that quite forcefully. That's a lot there. <laughs> There's a lot to unpack would you there, like isn't it? roll a deception check. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't steal anything from the shop. I don't want to lose my job. Come in. What you said I was said, the sentence, I don't steal things. I don't anymore. There you go. Um, Give me a deception check. It's not the same. <laughs> the deception check should have been when he asked if I could be trusted, and I said, I don't know what you're talking about. No one lied at that point. Um. <laughs> oh. In which case you say it exactly like you said it, I think. Convincingly? Yeah, well, to me. <laughs> well, then, um... That would have been an actual... They, they, uh, it sounds like they're just like me. Oh, God. Don't Stealing speak. people's hearts. <laughs> is that is that what people dream about when they dream about can it? We, no, we don't want to know. Please, <laughs> can we please get off the topic of what you get up to in other people's dreams? Could we find out whether or not... Well, no, I think she should come. If that is what you wish, that will make you comfortable. Where, right, where? I mean, I, to be honest, I'm not in... Entirely sure what the job will entail. I just none of us are. Precisely, this is sure the most sensible way to do it until we know what it is that we're doing. So, dear lady, I would Ash, Ash. What we are about is that uh, the five of us, five of us here, are. Uh, well, we shall perform a very daring and. Uh, uh, we're performing a heist, yes. my dear. <laughs> We'll be doing it somewhere in the Raven Shade. Yes. We don't entirely know when. Um, but from the way that you sounded, it probably sounds like you're quite good at maybe not, but maybe, yes, stealing things. Well, no, we're not back. Sorry, yes, indeed. I, that is what I, I don't, is. Ah, yes, yes. I don't steal things. No, that's fine. Of you don't course want you don't. No, 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 no that's do. That's absolutely okay. I'm, no, but I'm not down with stealing I'm not. No, no, no. I work in a shop. Wait, wait, wait. In that case, let me give you the next layer. This is not a real heist. Wait, it's, it's not a real no, heist. No, 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 no. <laughs> in, we are going to be carrying out a heist. We will not actually be not stealing. Real. We're stealing the goods for the person whose goods they are. Oh. Mm. Oh, right. One of those jobs. Yes. Got mm -hmm. you. Therefore, nothing can go wrong. Mm. No. No. We're stealing things. No! Well, I hoped that if they explained it to you, then maybe I would catch on to what's going on as well, but I'm afraid it's gone past me. <laughs> Mr. Abernathy, your skills will be required for gazing upon the art. Make sure that everyone knows how very valuable and wonderful it is. And if your assistant would be helpful in that... I can gaze. Do you want to come and look at things with me? Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, wait, wait. Unless it's criminal. In which wait, 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 wait. She's moment. your assistant. Surely she does what you say. Um... <laughs> No, oh. no, no, that is usually is, how it is, works. Sorry, is she going to get a cut for looking at things? <laughs> a cut? Oh, I see. No, no. Oh, right, perfect. It's not, it's not. No, excellent. She, she is, a, she is a, a, a subsidiary, a, 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 a um... advisor. Indeed. Sorry, you kid. don't. Are you criminals? Because no, madam, please <laughs> define the Do word. Do you not know who I am? Well, maybe she doesn't. She doesn't, she doesn't hear are me. you? No, I work in a shop. Very good. Very good. Yes. Convincing. Well, do you do you trust this man or do you not? Abernathy. Yes. Oh. I will roll a <laughs> insight. <laughs> yeah, like a like a kind of insight check if that's okay. Just kind of. Are you using your? Ooh. My what? Ooh. Dice. My <laughs> <laughs> your telepathy. Your mic exactly just means I can speak to people and kind of like Your name impact, but I can't really. <laughs> you do have an insight into people that is beyond the looking at them. Then that means I get. Yep. What? Just roll an insight check. Okie dokie. 
Where's my skills? Come on, skills. I'm just on them. Oh, 18. Wow. You not only can glean that Abernathy is quite a trustworthy soul, just generally speaking, but also <clears throat> gazing a little deeper, because mm-hmm. you have the ability to, to look a bit deeper into people. There is a very kind, trusting, quite gentle soul in there. Someone who wouldn't screw anyone over, doesn't really know how. No harm should ever come to this man. <laughs> <laughs> What I did agree. you think I was going to do? <laughs> I'm just saying, for everyone aware, you're one of the truest souls I've seen, so well done. Right. What did you just do? Nothing. Well. Cheese. Uh. <laughs> well, who else? <laughs> uh, yeah, shall we then uh, henceforth, uh, since we since if if you if you wish to bring this young lady along? Well, I just thought if we were going to be around the collection, then I've actually well, yes, helped yes. them with the collection over the years. It might be a nice teaching opportunity. I didn't realize how, Te- quite, how much heisting would be going on. Teaching opportunity? What are you going to be teaching now? About the art collection? Oh, no, that's fine. Yes, yes. That's okay. Just not where it is. We're going to look at some art. Yes. Yep. Yes. yes, it's I'm a very not, fine collection. I, I restore it on occasion, so indeed, I can maybe talk indeed. you through yes. some of those aspects of it and exactly. kind of let you know what I do, um, what the art's worth. It's, it's, it's a very fine collection. It, it has got quite modern examples. i have keeping everyone oh, here right. listening we, to me. I'm not entirely comfortable. We're not, not going to steal, steal the no, art. We're no, going to no, look no, no, at no. the art. So when you said heist, wait, 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 no, no. more of a sort of... You will not have to steal anything you don't wish to. <laughs> I think we should probably leave. <laughs> <Fine. Yes. laughs> fine, fine. Uh, we should we should go back to 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 Raven's Ooh. hall. Yes, Raven Shade. Jade, Shade. Sorry, the hall of Raven Shade. Yes, onward. Then have you everything you need? If you have, yes. Um. Well, I'm not entirely sure now. Yeah, no. No? No? Right. Right. What time is it? It's about midday. We, we do have a... <laughs> I did say that we would be meeting... Oh, sorry, one of the clocks on the wall dings. Oh, yes, yeah, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Myrtle appears with another... No, anyway. Um, uh, now, I did say that we would be at... Uh, uh, there to talk to Zoral to go through the plans with her at two of the clock. Right, okay. Well... How much time do you need? You also wouldn't right. be able to enter the upper city without an escort. I just thought if I maybe threw some of my restoring uh, the way, do things it. in a bag do quite do quickly, it. then Please do. we might have to just Onward. grab a bit of lunch on the way. But I guess this is, well, I guess if you're coming with me on the job, then well, I'm, I'll, I'll shout you lunch today if, that, if you like. Um, is there anywhere we can stop off? I usually... I usually just make sandwiches, you see, but I'm not going to have... Right, okay, well, I can tell from your face that maybe... Food will be provided. <laughs> right, oh, right. Oh, um, yes. right. That's a good job. We should go do this job. Could you like get that. my restoring bag and make sure there is um, some of the larger and the smaller brushes in there? These sizes three, five, eight should do it. Uh, and a double zero, maybe. And I'll just let Myrtle know that we're popping out for lunch, okay? Yes, oh, must do it. He is the best at his job in the mm. city. Myrtle, my love, we're just popping out for a little bit. We'll be back. Um, what time? Will we, what hour? Later. later. Later evening. Evening. Oh, oh. All right. It's both of us going out. So if you hear the door going, then it will hopefully be for you. But I can't be entirely sure. Um, Myrtle <laughs> appears at the top of the stairs. Where are you going? Just to pop your back. Hello. Hello. Oh. Ah, dear lady, dear lady, it's so fascinating to see you as always. Are you working on anything particularly special today? Yes. Good. Good. We're glad to hear it. Hmm. hmm. What's going on? This. Who are all these people? Three five eight double zero. Lovely. Thank you. Um, could you pop pop them in my <laughs> bag? Um, we are, just... my dear lady, uh, to uh, going to take your 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 fine uh, gentleman to to go and uh, view the the art collection up at uh, Raven Shade. <laughs> Oh, mm. good. Just, just, I thought it'd be a good opportunity to introduce the Shakti to the mm. collection. Yeah. And just to, like, so it's probably the best time to do it, really. And yes, mm. yes, exactly the best time to do it now. All right, I'll see you later. All right, great. Um, 
Do you need me to pick anything up for dinner? Mm. Mm, dinner. Hadn't thought about dinner yet. No, no. I I'll think either. about dinner. Great. Okay, mm. so will I. Mm. Great. She won't think about dinner. <laughs> <laughs> she gets very focused. Focus on her work. Right, uh, uh, are we, are we, are we... We're quite done. Mm. I think Cohen's, back upstairs. I think Cohen's already walking to the back. door. Yeah, <laughs> same. Are you, you coming to the place too, though? He, he looks back over his shoulder. Well, well, yes, that's why I'm, I'm already on my way. Do you want to keep up? Uh, I will just be here with this bag. Right, all right, I'll take that from you now. Thank you very much. Um, right, Come with us, young let's go. child. This is fine. Onward, no, onward. Not, not, not really a child anymore, are you? But I, 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 I mean, you're aged differently to me, but I'm a dwarf, so I don't know quite. I'm, I'm assuming adult, it's young adult. This way. Oh, okay. It's all good. <laughs> you all Thank you. out <laughs> of the art shop and basically retrace your steps. Go back up, up the road towards Baldur's Gate. Uh, once you start to the gate, um, there is a queue. Mm-hmm. Um, you don't need to queue if you don't want I have to. Never queued in my life, <laughs> I Do you breeze past? Yes. Okay, there is a queue, and you would normally join the queue and give credentials. You you tend not to go into the city unless you're with someone, so you know to follow after the and just scuttle after. Basically, you've never been in the upper city before, so you don't know what's going on. What do you do? Oh, nice. I think I'm used to trying it on. Yeah. Um, and probably getting away with it most of the time. So you try and breeze past as well? Yeah. Believe. I imagine that I might be able to vaguely breeze past if I just did it with confidence and kind of like had the, <laughs> oh the coin vaguely on show. Cool. Uh, can you all, as a group, please roll me a performance check? Oh, now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just, okay. um, um, Ooh, like just, loud in here. just like act natural. We're going on a job. This is what we do. You're fine. I work in a shop. Guidance. Hey. Straight <laughs> yeah. away. First time of thousands. Of <laughs> I got guidance. That is cocked, isn't it? How is that cocked? How is that cocked? How is that cocked? <laughs> Just roll it again. Cocked on nothing. No, but like, it wasn't. It wasn't the fact that it was cocked. It was how. That's meant to be a flat surface. I think <laughs> this is the physics so rock. I've. Just, oh well, I it, yeah. That, that, that. <laughs> right, uh, group check. <laughs> what am I? What are you Un, uh, yeah, unnatural twenty. Uh, unnatural twenty. Yeah. Twenty. Right. Twenty-five. Right. Oh wow. Uh, Sixteen. Sixteen. Yep. Seven. <laughs> As a group, you are over fifteen. Uh, you, um, <laughs> should be. I'm very practiced at not drawing attention. <laughs> Yeah, what you note as you're all going through, you do this all the time and don't even yes. notice anything about it. You tend to do this quite well and you're also passing by. You do what you always do, give a wink and a nudge, and uh, one of the guards sort of like, all right, fine. Um, you, for s- at this point, something about the entrance at this point feels quite like overwhelming. Like there's a strange feeling in you that you don't quite you don't quite recognize. It's the first time you've felt this, apart from once about two weeks ago when you felt good after selling someone some art supplies. And again, you didn't know quite why you felt good that time either, but it is distracting. And at this point, there is a strange feeling of portent. Oh, nice. As you walk towards this gate, Baldur's Gate, the, you know, um, good. <laughs> And you don't notice that Ashakti is just blending in with this crowd and moving very calmly, very quietly, and very effectively, almost like this is practiced. It's a good pet talk. It was mostly a pet talk. <laughs> and you all head into the opposite? Uh, I, I don't know if I'd notice this, but if I did notice that you were looking around with sort of like, oh, because you've never been in the other city, I would be incredibly patronizing to you, and I apologize. <laughs> And it's, yeah, it's the, ah, now what you see on the left here is the, uh, it's because he's, um, V has got some uh, knowledge of the, like, architecture and stuff like that. And so it would be like a really boring guy I... taking you through the, and over there you will see the jewelry culture, and over there you will see the stables. I cast message at Ashakti and parody this at every time. <laughs> <laughs> Just check, are these stables for very small horses? Yes. Good. <laughs> 
Good point. <laughs> yes, no, but the, pony it, stables, things like that, and there the magisterial <laughs> temple of uh, the thunder, uh, amongst uh, others along. There this. is no magisterial temple. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> I have to figure out what I might try and say. But you could talk about the high hall, which yes. is where Shaden spends a lot of time. Um, <laughs> yeah. There's places you could point out. Yeah, that's, fair. that's what's happening. And you do pass by, like you've been here before. You are aware of this, but for Ash, for the first time here wide humongous temples and to gods that you recognize but have never seen the temples of it's not that this is overwhelming probably more of a this is bigger mm. like you've probably seen the walls from a distance and one box on the other side and it is like there's a tower almost shaped like a red pagoda almost very strange this is a rich sumptuous area full of quite marvelous things Uh, you will head towards the Ravenshade house, I presume. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I do know where I'm going here, <laughs> perhaps. Yes. And you head to the door. Uh, uh, flamboyantly wrap upon it. There is a bell. Yes, I'm still flamboyantly wrapping <laughs> upon it. Uh, yeah. Gills. <clears throat> ah, uh, dear Stevens, uh, I have my. Um, what's the word? Gang, gang posse, posse, gang posse with oh me, <laughs> and uh, we, we we would like to come in and see uh, see the lady of the house. I don't, I've never actually been in the front door before. Oh wait, wait! <laughs> there you go. <laughs> this is quite exciting. I'm quite looking forward to this. No, usually, no, no, no. Wait, usually wait, you see me go around Stevens. the side. Stevens, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, um, so I was opening the door. Forget, you want me to forget close you, the door. Forget you've seen us. Please close the door. Forget you've seen us. <laughs> I always go in this way. No, I know, but there's there's a reason why we should not. I want to show Shakti the entire um, oh shit, the entire uh, scope of the house. Very well. I have <laughs> not seen you today. Thank you. I'm so sorry. We won. I try and get everyone down a big side alley. I don't really actually. There is no sign. No, no, I know, but this is what I mean. So I'm trying to get them out of the way of like the front of the house. I'm so sorry. I did get told very, very certainly that we should not come in the front door. Um, would anyone be looking back at the house? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, please roll a perception check. Ooh, doesn't really matter. I don't think. Uh, I mean, perception. I, I uh, look longingly back at the front door. If that <laughs> nine. Nine. Mm. nine. Mm. You think you see a curtain move, but you're not sure. From what uh, floor? Bottom, ground floor. Ooh. I'm so sorry. We need to um, uh, gain entrance to the house in a less uh, formal way than, than, than we usually do. Right, okay. If that's right. Do we need to look different or just go. Un un uh, notable. What? Oh, yes, that was the idea. Yes, I think that's a very good plan. Uh, now, uh, I shall enter first, um, but you will all need to follow me at, at, at intervals, um, so that we don't all enter together in a sort of, well, gang posse. <laughs> oh, right. Not getting old, is it? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> <Do> the same. <laughs> well, so we all just wander through the side door at yes. random intervals for the next. Well, now, now, I, I, I shall, I shall go in there first and make sure the, the coast is clear, as it were, and and then we will all follow in. Shall we say five minutes? All right. Each? Yes. It, I, I assume it's because we must look a certain way. Would it be convenient if I looked like something else? Anything. I, to be honest. What? Anything. Anything. But not this. No. Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I, 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 oh, fine. Right. And then I um, I will I cast Disguise Self. Um, oh, good lord. So he, That is very impressive. Um, <laughs> basically, uh, yeah, the... Uh, the sort of Cohen picks the card out of his out of his breast pocket, uh, and then it just sort of ignites. Uh, nice. all, the, all the symbols on it kind of catch this like rainbow flame until the whole thing is burned up. Uh, and then standing before you is no longer Cohen, uh, but a sort of very generic looking like like um, it, as close as you can get to the line without it clearly being fake of like a parody of a posh person. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I know them well. It's very tongue in cheek style. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh, no, that now that I think that will work. Yes. Oh, excellent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've even got the voice. Well done. Now, <clears throat> in which case, perhaps uh, no, perhaps we should go together. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's go, shall we? Yes. And then. Uh, yeah, we can move through, and uh, <laughs> because of the performance, I do put on way too much 
Hello, hello, this is all perfectly normal. <laughs> <laughs> through the front door. No. No, no, I am going through the service entrance, but I am telling every single one of the servants that this is perfectly normal, what the two of us are doing. Uh, you walk into the, the service, which is the kitchen, and um, a cook looks up. Oh, what? And that, sorry, have they, have they walked in? Just walked straight in. Gone. Just no, two of them have gone. Yeah. Okay. What are you? What are you? Oh, no, we do just uh, sorry. I'm I'm bringing this gentleman. He has to oh, some right. work, work upstairs. Oh work yes, upstairs. very important. Very important. Work. Very important. We have to get on with it. It is. It's, it's very singing, good, singing, sir. Right. Good. Oh, oh. Singing lessons or, or something of the kind. <laughs> <laughs> keep going. <laughs> oh yes, uh, you do need the singing lessons rather badly. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Well, okay. I, Not going to do anything just now. Well, you leave I the kitchen. Just us yeah. three. It's, right, it's, I mean, we usually go through this door anyway, because, well, I do anyway, because I, I mean, I, I come here to work, so I use this door. I mean, do I really need to, I don't know what, to be honest, I'm a bit lost. I think the way that his entrance happened, I think it doesn't really matter whether we go in <laughs> or in entirely not ourselves or are ourselves. So, and I'll just literally walk through the door and with that, with a, a stride walk entirely yeah, yeah, straight yeah. through. Follow! <laughs> right, okay! I guess we follow. Mr. Westbrooke. Yes. Is is that tall blonde man a patriarch? And is that why he's like that? <laughs> <laughs> Are they all like that? Right. I did. I did specify to follow. I mean, it's a long answer, but the short one is well, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea. You all headed through the kitchen. Oh. <laughs> Can I help you? Walk, 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 walk. <laughs> right, we just... You know Bartleby. Okay. Bartleby's the cook. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Hello. Hello, Bartleby. Hello, Mr. Whistlepocket. How have you been keeping? All right, thank you. You know, the sciatica is getting worse. Oh, dear. <laughs> yes, I know. I know the feeling. It get Age. Well, what, what does it do to us, eh? Well, it breaks us down slowly over time. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, no. Is there any good food in here? Oh, <laughs> Do you want to nick something? No, I just want to gaze. appreciate it. I want to gaze. I'm here to gaze, and I'm going to gaze. Cool, I'm a perception check. Fifteen. There is lots of nice food. I look at it. <laughs> Bartleby, <laughs> this is my apprentice, Ashakti. Oh, hello! This is Bartleby. He's a fantastic cook, particularly good at pies. Hmm. If I may say so. Nice. Pleasure to meet you. That's so cool. I mean, hi. I mean, good morning. Uh, good afternoon. Hello. I am an art apprentice. That's lovely. That is. I assumed as much. How did you get to be a cook, though? Oh, it's a terribly long story. Do you want to hear it? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if we could return at another time. Oh, I'm always happy if a guest is quiet and hot down here. I always find that your um, your tales are best savoured over a meal. Oh, well, you know, I can't eat the food I make. It would be very uncouth, wouldn't it? You're not allowed to eat it. No, I just make it. Bloody hell. I don't even live here. <laughs> I have to walk all the way into the, in the outer city. <laughs> <laughs> I have to walk all the way to the outer city every day and then all the way I come back, back again. again and go, I, I did <laughs> to say, <laughs> follow. <laughs> right, okay, maybe we should, maybe some other time then. Whenever you're around and you fancy a, a pie and a word, although I can't eat it, but you can. <laughs> 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 oh, Bartholomew. Yes. Bartleby. Bartleby, sorry. <laughs> He's not allowed to eat it. Well, it's I. To be honest, I I don't know how kitchens work like that. No, There's so many people seem to be able to eat certain things as we're following. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm just gonna laughs> <stay. laughs> you are still doing it. Yeah. Are you waiting at like the top of the stairs? Like, how are you doing this? Uh, how do you want to do this I've, walk through a house? I've got. <laughs> <laughs> the, the worry is because now he's kind of an acceptable person, it, like on my own. If you see what I mean? It's, I'm really overplaying this kind of stuff. Shall we go up here? No, maybe not. And then uh, <laughs> uh, and just sort of wandering around, really getting overexcited by the thing. And I think you're uh, like um, like egging me on, kind of playing playing up to it. I mean, we should go over there. 
Well, 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 in which case, it all looks interesting. Exactly, yeah, exactly. And then once we get the door, I realize I can't open it. So it's like, oh, no, no, perhaps not here. We need to go elsewhere. Of course, not this door. No, no, no. Yes, door. yes, yes, yes. I will, I, will, I will look at the followers and the bumbling buffoons and simply go, Will, all of you, please stop, take a breath, and follow me. Follow and follow. Me, Sarah. Yes, yes. Right. Good idea. I know where the bedroom is. I know where she probably is. Okay. Let's go, shall we? Oh, she, we were having so much She fun. is the overseer. We must obey. All right. Um, <laughs> leaning against a side door, just watching all of this, <laughs> is Tharavel, your sibling, yes. and they are just taking it all in. Oh, hello. Hello, visitors, brother. Not for me. Well, yes, they are. For, uh, well, yes. Um, they clock you and recognise you. Right. Well, um, it's for the art. Yes. What has Mother got you doing? Nothing important. It's quite no. I see. Yes, nothing important <laughs> at all. Mm-hmm. We're here as professional friends. You see. Indeed, they are. They're very good friends. All of them. He eats them. Yes, it does, that. doesn't he? <laughs> Is there a reason why you're doing a very maniacal laugh in the corner? <laughs> Is there a reason that strange people are wandering around? My They're not I am regularly in this house. Exactly. Mm, I wasn't referring to you. They are here to look at the art collection, as I said. They oh, have good. been called for. Yes. Well, then friends. don't let me waste any more of oh, your, your prejudice. Time. No. <laughs> Exactly, and then <laughs> <laughs> really try to jump on the back of that joke and stride on after you. Cool, you're striding upstairs. I'll be honest with you, it's not usually like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest with you, it's not normally like this. <laughs> uh, would we get to the? Do we get you to had up, you had upstairs. Yeah, okay. I was not yeah. following, just watching, beady eyed. Uh, you head upstairs, and the lounge is ahead of you. Ah, yes. Now. Um, Please do all be very uh, respectful, uh, if you will. Uh, wait until you are spoken to to to, to speak, and um, th this will be fine. So, am I to look like this for this entire process? No, it's entirely up to you. <laughs> A moment ago, I was supposed to change. Listen to the overseer. All right, back to this then. You just <laughs> back in. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've got no choice anymore. Let's go. You all head into the study, <clears throat> the lounge. Um, Sorella is sitting and uh, just slowly stands as you all enter. Uh, good afternoon. Here we are. This is the um, the um, gang bossy. <sighs> right. Do do come in and close the door. Yes. Sir. Uh, yes. <clears throat> They're all yes. I'm sorry. I haven't had Abernathy. Mm. I didn't see you. Lovely to see you, my dear friend. It's it's lovely to see you again. It's been too long. It has very much has. Are you? I assume you're here to do some restoring. Yes, indeed. So I have been led to believe. I it took a rather long time to be led to that belief, but <clears throat> that is how I have been led to believe. I understand. Thank you for coming. Um, this I gentleman don't believe we've had the pleasure to meet you. My name's Cohen. Hello, Cohen. Um, he's a very um useful. Uh, uh, Her it's... eyes um bounce down to the swords. None of you. No one else is carrying any kind of weapon. Yeah. <laughs> Looks back up. Aha. Uh -huh. Hello. Quite. Enchanted. Mm. And as Sarala looks at you. You recognise that Sarala also has a bindi, also has some of the markings. You are from the same culture. I'm with him. Oh. Sorry, I should have... I'm with... Uh, <clears throat> hello. ...made more formal introductions. Sarala, this is um, Ashakti. She has uh, recently become my apprentice at the shop. I thought this might be a quick opportunity while we were here to show us some of the collection, at least. She can definitely be trusted. I'm learning about art. Mm. Sorella has a very faint smile that you are welcome to roll in, so check if you want to. I would like to, yes. So totally fine. 
Yeah, I should make a roll. Oh, not Ooh. 20. Oh, oh nice. that's one. Pew, pew, pew. Yes. <laughs> that's how many insights? <laughs> 20 insights. And eight. Uh, uh, 16. Five. Mm-hmm. A 14. Uh, anyone above a 15? So just the two of us. How would you like? Eight. Eight, all right. Uh, the two of you. It's almost like she planned this. Oh, no. Well, oh, no. I definitely didn't know that. So yeah, that's fine. <laughs> in, in Isukan, she says to you, when did you come here? What? Uh, I, I mean... Uh, Are you speaking back in the same language? Yeah. When did you arrive? Just just now. I, I, we, we I'm just... in the city. Oh, n- no, like, I'm, like, from here but when I was little. Uh, right. I don't know. Ma'am. Oh, there needs to be formal. And none of you speak, no, yeah, so, so you, you would have no concept of what's happening here. Is, is, um, is everything uh, that... Absolutely <laughs> fine. Good, good. <laughs> Splendid. Well, why don't we all, um, well, have some tea, I suppose, or anything else, if anyone would like anything else? I, I believe know. some of us are probably hungry. Oh. oh, well, if, if that's, uh... I'm sorry, do you require um, food? We didn't really get a chance to pick up anything on the way, I'm afraid. <clears throat> no problem, that's not, a, that's fine. Uh, do, do please be seated. And uh, she walks off to one side and rings a bell. What of you? I <clears throat> like, f- like, flare out the, the tailcoat yes. to mm. sit down. <laughs> um, and she sits down next to you. This is practice, mm-hmm. like, you two know each other very well, mm-hmm. so this hasn't been an introduction, I think it doesn't need to be. Um, well, this is delicate, so you'll forgive me if I give a bit more information. Please. We've been craving some is more it? information. <clears throat> I understand. <clears throat> I married into this family about 40 years ago. And Jovaya, my uh, departed wife, she um she had a taste for the artist a lot of the house's money that she also married into a long time ago she was elven had a very long life uh collected through that a valuable art collection that i know you're very aware of and obviously and obviously being as well about as well and Lilith, well you are aware of Mm -hmm. This art collection, it is, well, I was going to say priceless, but that is um, the point. It is very valuable. Much of it is um, unique, and it is certainly something that uh, would sell for quite a lot of money to the right buyers, you understand. It is difficult for a patriarch to give back, especially one like myself who was not born into this life. I will not be around for much longer. Please don't, um, it is an illness that I am aware will be the end of me, and that is, well, there's nothing I can do about that. What I can do is try and give back now. Giving back openly would be difficult. It is not something that the other families look kindly upon, and as a pretender, much as my ex-wife was a pretender, we are some steps removed from popular opinion as to what our house does and what we're allowed to do. I do not want this house to keep everything within. I do not want these assets kept. I do not want this house to continue to be what it is. And I certainly don't want um, other members of this family to drag it back into previous activities. So I want to, I want to give back, especially to my own community where I've come from we are aware of. I have a friend. He is involved in the Isukan market, which is in Rivington, 
far in the outer city. He has offered to purchase some of the family's collection, the money for which he will distribute amongst the city to try and help the less fortunate. It is how I'd like to give back. Unfortunately, this cannot be done openly. It must be done in secret. Therefore, I would like to ask you all to rob me. Sorry, carry on. I would like these items to be removed in a way that would not implicate myself or any member of my family in the theft. I would like these items taken to my contact. At which point they are taken, they are gone. It is a terrible shame. What a tragedy. The house has to make its own fortunes, as I am a strong believer in making one's own fortune, not being born into this life. I understand that there is a certain worry that you might be apprehended or discovered. I will do everything in my power to make that easier, certainly. And also, if, there, if, the, if the worst does happen, and you are apprehended, I will be honest about my intentions. I don't want to be, but I think this is the best option that I have for allowing this to happen. Agreed. Thank you, Viorica. I have asked Viorica to help organize this as Gilvia's ward and in memory of her to I would like you to be involved and he has brought all of you so I have to assume that you are the people that he would like to the work with. The best of the best. I certainly appreciate your choices. I have a suggestion as to how this might be done, but I am very open to talking through various <clears throat> options. I don't want this to feel like a fait accompli. <clears throat> you are presumably um, experts in some aspect of... Absolutely. Well, uh, what is the word one would use? Um, um, uh, removal, perhaps. Removal. And certainly with someone of your knowledge would know how to remove the art from the walls without damaging it. Precisely. Yes, my, my thinking precisely. Had you um, decided upon which uh, particular paintings you were wanted to include? I mean, I would the, imagine it would have to be some of the ones of slightly wider renown, unless I, I didn't realize their final destination, but I don't know, maybe something who had a wider renown would be more recognizable, bring more money. Well, <clears throat> I think it would be good to remove as much of it as possible. I do have access right. to a um, magical item that I'm willing to part with as part of this. Um, next up, this bag is uh, larger on the inside. Ah. So you could, if paintings were, say, cut or rolled up and then placed within, a large amount of the artwork could potentially, because most of it is painted, most of it could be taken, <coughs> placed within, and then carried relatively unobtrusively. Is it a bag of holding, Chris? Duh. <laughs> <laughs> Tardis <laughs> bag. Yes. This is the big bag. So this item, oh, these items could be placed within. The more, the better. Frankly, there are some pieces within that might uh, draw more of an interest. I know there is a specific set that would draw more interest, but that's maybe. What is the set? Oh, there's some strange, uh, I believe, prophetic paintings or something like that. That uh, they are. As you say. <laughs> Not quite. Javar had them commissioned. Uh, they, are, they, they are purported to have some magical properties and... Uh, they are unbelievable. Unbelievable. Certainly, uh, I'm informed by my contact that the market in Isukar is very interested in paintings that may have magical properties. So right. the paintings yeah. themselves, I, we still have the effects of the painter, so they could also be taken. Perhaps that might work well potentially, but right. I think, frankly, the more you can take, the more can be carefully and correctly taken off the walls and looked after, pl 
placed, taken, and then still be of value would be the important side of this. We may not be able to get all of them. I know that there are some that are, well, to be frank, in my opinion, sometimes the frames are worth more than the actual paintings themselves. <laughs> and the frames might not actually fit in. Some of the, I think it was some of the very old parts of the collection, and not anything that has been at certain You are the expert, and this is why you are here. That right. Is. Okay. We will, I'm sure we can make the right decisions as we go along. Hmm. Splendid. Right, when, we're talking practically for a moment. Is there going to be a point in time at which these rooms containing said paintings are unattended? Mm. Well, I had a thought. It serves two purposes. Now, on the one hand, it allows us the ability to remove them when there is no one around. Very useful. On the other, it does raise the, the, the stakes somewhat, but it does mean that we can say with absolute surety that no one in the family is involved. True. My departed wife will have been dead for 25 years in roughly a week. I have been thinking of holding some kind of soiree. Nothing too grand or opulent, but a, a commemorative evening. And a commemorative evening seems an ideal opportunity to showcase a lot of the pieces, maybe the most expensive, and place them all in one of the rooms of the house where they can be observed, seen, displayed. At which point, if the entire party retires to another room, if there is a an event happening, maybe some kind of ball or... Um, I, I thought I might... Um, well, yes, a performance. Perform. Quite. That would also... Something to... Oh, uh, goody. Do the trick. I'm so glad I brought you along. Mm. Regardless, something that would draw the attention of the party guests and remove them from the vicinity. At which point, if the room is well cleared, then any method of trying to discover who did it would be incredibly difficult. None of my family are involved at that point either, so that helps with that side of it as well. And then I'm very happy to give access to some of the um, less well-known exits from the house, which should mean that the items can be removed quickly and easily, and then taken across the city, which shouldn't bear too much trouble, I should think. Um, the uh, contact of mine is probably... You've been to the market before, yes? Uh, yeah. Fantastic. I guess, yeah. Fantastic. Well, then. Um, the market there is... The owner of the market, uh, Lakshmana, is uh, an old friend of mine and will... Cool. <laughs> do you want to roll some kind of check on that? <laughs> <laughs> What, you, what do you want me to roll? Do you are you openly wincing at the mention <clears throat> of Lakshmana? I'm super subtle, Chris. It's my whole my you, whole do, thing. Do you want to roll for subtlety? Yes, I do. <laughs> what, what, you can just say your whole thing is yeah. awkward. <laughs> <laughs> super subtle. Uh, it's my whole thing. It's up to thing. you what kind of roll you want to make. Yes, something like deception or performance roll. or something deception. like that is fine. <laughs> Wow. I'll take it. Yeah. Um, that's a nine. Okay. Can, can Cohen roll insight to see if... if of course. Talks it? Absolutely. Uh, no, that's me. Absolutely. I'm stop talking like... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. It takes five minutes and it turns off. Uh, there we go. Ele Eleven. Eleven. You notice that um, Ash reacts slightly stranger to that name. As does Sorella. Regardless. Getting to the market is quite a long way, obviously, but mm. um, I don't think you should have too much trouble. You you have some knowledge of the area. You presumably have some knowledge of traveling through the city, if that's your role in this. Yes, I thought as much. And this yes. lady, I thought, would uh, be able to help me distract, but also, I believe, uh, is the best to oversee the operation as the most... Um... She invited me along. I see. <laughs> I did, but that is not because I don't trust you, Bjorka. I do. Thank you. I thought a very capable pair of hands might help you in this Indeed. Mm. Indeed. No, I'm very glad they're um, here. Splendid. All right. So the plan is you two distract them, mm. you two get the art off the walls, and then, what, me and you take it to the market. Sounds good to me. Mm. I must impress on you the um, the area where I foresee some difficulty, I'll be honest with you, is, uh, well, 
my children. I don't wish to speak ill of them. They are well-intentioned, but they have become accustomed to this lifestyle. I don't think they are aware of any kind of subterfuge or anything like that. And there's any particular reason to think something's going on. But um, <coughs> they are the... I don't think this would be something they would approve of. I've not asked them. I um, think I know them well enough to know that this is not something... That should be brought to their attention. <coughs> so some caution in that regard would probably be wise. Right. Understood. Noted. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Oh, sorry. I'm just... going to go to the door. Okay. Oh, nice. And very first, I'm going to press my ear against it. Cool. From perception um, check. Yeah. With disadvantage, as you're hearing through a yeah, door. Yeah. Yeah. Understandable. Um. <laughs> Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I know you, That's Chris. Just <laughs> <laughs> You've played with me before. Mm. Uh, that's a, oh, and then, yeah, no. Uh, eight. Yeah. Uh, but what I, I then what I wanted to do was like listen, and then if I didn't hear anything, then look out. You open the door. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. Um, as you move over the door and put your ear next to it, you don't hear anything. As you then open the door a crack and look out, um, you don't see anyone. No. No. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> if, if I may ask, how much exactly was uh, was in it for us? Oh, I see. I'm sorry, they are so. Um, no, no. It is necessary for such. Yes. <clears throat> oh, yes. thank you. Such a uh, kind indictment. Can I very quickly, um, minor illusion and do not disturb sign on the door <laughs> oh, and then close the door again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Draw attention to this. Um, <laughs> almost as good as me, is it? <laughs> no, I, I understand, of course, and time is valuable. Um, the pieces that are being taken should have a total value of, I mean, I, I am not this at this. It's not my collection. I believe the total value will be somewhere in the realm of five to six hundred thousand gold pieces. <laughs> People pay a lot for pictures on a wall, don't they? They most certainly do. Um, I believe have to have a talk about that at some point. Maybe enlighten me. <laughs> I believe that it would be fair to offer a small percentage of that to all of those taking part. Obviously, to them. I believe the to handle that sort of thing. I think he has a better understanding of this than I do. Oh, very, very well. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. No, of course. Um, you are, of course, in charge of this. So. Thank you. Yes. Um, Responsibility. I think, I think some, some percentage of that being shared amongst yourselves for doing the task as well as hopefully most of it going, but I understand that people's time must be paid. To whom, after it's been delivered upon, where is this rest of this money going? Other than, I know straight... Uh, well, Lakshmana has, has uh, but it's connections. But it's going to one person. Oh, Lakshmana is an old friend. We have been friends for a very long time. We, are, <laughs> we grew up together. And uh, he has a... Um, that's, I don't want to be indelicate, but connections to the uh, city's more criminal elements. <laughs> and as such has access to a lot of places where 100 gold here, 200 gold there would make a humongous difference. I believe he is going to use this amount of money to cement his position as part of some of these criminal organizations a little bit. And while that is a little distasteful, and I understand some of the money will go towards some more disreputable elements, I know that he is a good man and his heart is in the right place. He's working from the ground up. Precisely, rather than it all just sitting here on a wall gathering dust, which is not what Javai would have wanted anyway. In my opinion. I agree, no, I entirely agree to you, thank you. Thank you. It seems like a shame to um, well, take apart such a fabulous collection, but I entirely understand. Lakshmana has absolutely told me there are people in Issachar who have similar collections, similar styles apparently as well. Apparently this is uh, something that is not just from here, so right. they will have new and homes where they will be appreciated and loved, I've been told. Well, that's good to know. I, uh, is there anything that you would like us not to take? Is there a particular 
Um, I think it's a, a question that we have to ask now because if we take everything and then there was like, oh no, we should have left that one behind. Mm -hmm. and we like, oh, <laughs> probably that would be the wrong time to ask the question, really, wouldn't it? Of course. There is I little of uh, sentimental value for me in this. This is a means to an end. Okay. Thank you all. Um, a bottle we've got to. Um, if you'll excuse me, I will go and um, just check in the kitchens and leave you to discuss. It's probably a good idea. Certainly. Certainly. Spend it. Um, well, ex excuse me. So, to my own house. <laughs> <laughs> Walks out, opens the door. Yeah, that's it. You are by yourself. <coughs> it looks strangely at the do not disturb sign. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, is everything clear? It is now, yeah. <laughs> I told you everything would become clear. It doesn't seem like it was that hard of a plan to have followed in the first place. Very well, but we have a plan now. Can we please solidify it? The important thing to remember is that, you know, we are essentially acting above board, and if anything were to go wrong, then we can always, we can always rely on the name of the house. Exactly. And they realise that we are acting on their behalf, then everything will be fine. Exactly. Well, no. except you'd have failed the contracts and we won't get paid anything. No, no, wait down now. And she did say that she would leave the uh, division of the gold up to me. So therefore, I am saying, as the, the, the leader <laughs> of this of this expedition... Gang posse. Yes. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> now, uh, does everyone have a total that they would wish to be paid? I understand all of it would be the obvious answer if you don't <laughs> say that. Oh, you ruined the phone. Um, well, look, I mean, I'm, uh, half of it? Right. I think I need to not discuss this with him anymore. Does anyone else have <laughs> a reason? You're asking to name the price. I understand, and it was a mistake. A thousand point. gold each. That is, uh, just so we're all aware, the equivalent of £10,000. So from yeah. the perspective of... you've. That much money has passed through your hands. Yeah, you very rarely have that I've much at one that time. Much. Yeah, uh, your entire shop is worth that much money. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. it's, that's that's never even. Yeah, I'm not comprehending. The concept is too high for yeah. you. Uh, um, we could open a franchise. You're actually quite well. It would, be, it, would be, it would be quite nice for me. Yeah. But not yeah, like yeah. stunning. And I have no idea about money because it's kind of just there. Yeah. So, yeah. so that's what I mean. when you when that gets put forward, that sounds good. Or, or what about double that? It's not that much more. 10, 20. All right, all right, wait, wait, wait. Now, hang on. The person who is going to have complete control over this is the one who sells the merchandise. Right. If we, depending on what we get, if we say that the base uh, um, payment is 1,000 gold each, and then if we get, well, Mr. Avenue. More than wits. Precisely. What I'm saying is if we then, if we're assuming. That the, you uh, want to skim off the top. Well, if, there's more to be, if there's more to be had, then why not? Of course. Exactly. It's, so it's just a I question of how much... The point was that we, lots of it was going to be going to it the people will. that needed it. And Absolutely. Giving back to the community. I, well, yes, am I missing something here? It's well, but we can also give back to the community. Are we not members of the community ourselves? Now... Well, not of that particular community. That wait, wait, wait. Before, we, did, before we do anything else, the, the whole point of this is to help other communities. It's a rebirth of the community. This is entirely the point. We, well, cannot, take, we cannot take to... Very well, the underseller has got hold of you more than I thought. Now, what we have got to do is make sure that we understand how much we think it's going to sell for. Right, okay. Um, do you, you think... I haven't that, done a little uh, evaluation in some time. Some it may... of it Perfectly before we go down, so didn't that you're not having to guess. Didn't she say it was worth six hundred grand? Uh, that's what she said. Five hundred to six hundred. I mean, I mean, it depends, really. I think the last it, there hasn't been an addition for a little while now, a year or two. Mm. Um, so I haven't actually recalculated it. Maybe that one or two of the artists have got a little bit more popular. Exactly. Um, these things do happen in trends, I'm afraid. Mm. Uh, sadly, it's not about the actual quality of the art a lot of the time. But um, I can certainly give it a quick look over. In fact, if we could do that this afternoon, I could show you it is very good collection, actually. I've got it's one or two of my personal. Let favorites. us, let us, but let us all three, if you wish this lady to be uh, educated, let's all three go down and have a look. 
Sorry, out of work was giant equipment. Oh, yeah. so when when is this happening again? Is it tonight? A oh, week. God, a week. No, 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 no. A week. A week. A week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're good. I'm not that useless. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I am that useless, but I've managed to not be this. Time. <laughs> <laughs> um, 20, not the, being given a choice. Kind of yes. like anniversary. <laughs> um, that was it. Yes. Of the, de- of the death. Yeah, Thank you. Thank you. Cool. Yeah. Um, if, if, <laughs> if that is what we wish to do, and you wish to have uh, it. Given that the only person who wishes to skim off the top more than everybody else is you, we can find out what the actual figures are and then give you a better one. Does that sound all right? All right, as long as it's not less than the first one. No doubt. Anyway, yes, let's go and uh, let's go and uh, have a look at what we might um, reasonably fit into that bag. I believe that the, uh, the three horsemen, the various uh, other ones, are not going to be able to. Even if it is a bag, isn't it? Well, I mean, some some of the frames certainly won't. Uh, if you roll the well, we've got to do it very carefully as well, actually, because like if the way we handle it might affect the price that we're able to get for some. Precisely. To be honest, I've, I've never really done it at this end before. It's usually you kind of frame it and then you take it in and you put it up and then it's worth. Well, so we just do it backward. Right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's like walking backwards. <laughs> you do understand that not all. Like, for instance, we can't walk the whole thing backwards and take the paint off the back. <laughs> it's only a certain no, point at no, which... No, 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 no. Right? Yes. No, yes. Yes. Right? What? No? No. Hang on. Is Do there, something. Is there anything else? I don't know something. <laughs> is there anything else you need me for? Or shall I just turn up here for a party in a week's time? Thrilling as this conversation is... I mean, this is your DM speaking, some practical planning of the heist yeah. itself, <laughs> not just the money you might get, yeah. might be a good idea. It's a, good oh, it's a very good character question. <laughs> I cannot wait to get rid of you. You make everything far more different. However, you do have skills that I don't know anyone else who does. Therefore, if you want to come and have a look at the art and see what it is that you might be uh, transporting, that would probably be a good idea. All right. I mean, I've seen the bag that it's all going to fit into, but... Yes. This so. uh, sort of pouch about that size. Not big. Madam, I believe that we should discuss how we are going to enthrall these people, but perhaps, uh, well, do you wish to come and look at the art? Oh, of course I will, yes, but do we all want to try and sort out a plan first when this room before we leave and go downstairs? All right, all right, sorry, uh, I bowed. There's still the... potential of food coming along, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, that's a good point, that's worth sticking around um, for. At which point the door opens and <laughs> steps back in and goes, He'll he'll be just a moment. Um, <laughs> is everything all right? Fine. Yes. Yes. Um, Are you all right? Oh no, fine. It's just a. It's a. He's not fantastic on stairs. Um, <laughs> good. So. Um, would you like me to go and give him a hand? No, I'll, I can I'll, find I'll, you. I'll no, go please, you are guests uh, in this house. I would not. Absolutely. Get... No. Please, please see. Uh, do you need me for anything else? Any further? No, no, no. I think uh, I think we are we are fine. If we. I mean, if we could you tell us where these. Uh alternative exits you were mentioning actually are. Oh, I see, of course. Well, it'd probably be easy to show you. Um, although, with the group of us moving through the house... Yes, ma'am, this is not... Uh... I have to think of some sort of clever rooms. Do you, in fact, do you have anything like a blueprint of, of the house? <laughs> what is a blueprint? Yes. <laughs> and I minor illusion what a blueprint looks like. They didn't have them. And I do they do. They didn't have the... them at the time, Anna. You're right. Very cool thing to be able to produce. But... But... There would have been like be a drawing a, of, of, of like a, a, like a, a map. floor plan. Oh, a map. You could oh, have a floor plan. plan. I have a floor plan. Right, I like right to move it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's in blue. Yes, right? yeah. it is in, it's just in blue. Um, <laughs> and lay it out. Like a, a, what I know to be the bottom floor and do that. Oh, right, yes. Well, if this is easier. Um... Picks up a, a biro. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we're fine with that. <laughs> um, well, uh, the oh, um, <laughs> the uh, bottom there, the the uh, by the side of the kitchen there, there is a uh, way in, and also over this side over oh. here. Uh, yeah, the kitchen, kitchen has the kitchen has a false back at a certain point behind a shelf that okay. opens out to the sewers underneath. Uh, the sewers, please note, are not necessarily sewers as in full of effluvium. Yeah. They are um, old sewers that are no longer used and tend to have, like, sneaking in and out potential. Mm. They, they, they might not be dry, but they're also not going to be slurries of... No. Yeah. And uh, where do the sewers end up, particularly? Ah, oh, well, then you're in the... Um... I mean, you can work that one backwards, can't you? <laughs> <laughs> Eventually the sewers end up in the... Um... See. Well, uh, there is the... Uh, there is the... Uh... I've got the name, sorry. There is a specific 
There it is in the sewer keep of the uh, um, ah. yeah at the um, western edge of the city. I would not recommend going there. That's actually uh, taking you further away from where you need to go. <laughs> <Don't> go there. <laughs> if you can get out of the city, especially the upper city, uh, you could then presumably just walk through the lower city. I can't mm-hmm. see why there'd be a problem. All right. And between the Your sewers... giggles quietly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Between the sewers and the lower city, is there anything in there? Has it been... Infested I have, with something. I have never travelled through them. I could not tell you. I wonder if the person to ask would be Theraval, but I, we don't think they should be involved. Right. What? Oh, but there's a potential for beasties and such like in there. It, 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 it is the uh, it is the sewers under the upper city. Well, it's it's, 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 it, <laughs> it, 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 it's yeah, but he doesn't know that. <laughs> its reputation precedes it. Right. <laughs> Excellent. So my next question then is it's presumably why you're here with your um, vicious looking weapons. Well, vicious is a oh, I take it as a compliment. Are you any good in a scrap? I don't. I don't. I don't do. I don't do crime. I don't do. So that's a no. <laughs> shady. Sh- 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 Keep shit going or... for the deception check that's coming out. I don't, <laughs> don't wanna hurt anyone or Keep anything. Going check. That <laughs> is gonna be shady. Not shady. Roll it. <laughs> I think it's fair to say that you don't want to hurt people. That is fair. Yeah. That, well, that one bit was true. <laughs> that is... I don't want to be shady. Ten. Try to test it it's or fine. if you want. <laughs> Actually, no, I don't think I, I think I'm taking it at face value probably for now. Oh, Would you roll? Uh, or did I roll? Can I roll. I rolled roll a 14. Okay, okay you're taking face value. Fine. That's hilariously cocked. I mean, that was above. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. yeah. Like I think I, I don't think in the in the case of a heist, if someone's like, no, I'd be bad at the fighting bit, I'm probably not going to be like, oh no, I think you would be good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what you're basically sussing out is that you're the only person with any real like combat yeah. experience in this group. Right. So, if we're going into these sewers, then I'm the only person who's going to be able to hold their own in any capacity. Then so you'll be able to earn your keep. Exactly. Well, Why yes. else do you think we brought you along? But, so we're sending me into the dangerous bit alone. No, not alone. I thought we were all going to that yes. bit. Yes, I'm sure we're somewhat capable. Are we're you? Not be. All right. It's just that, well, I mean, we've got a singer, a painter, a, a not criminal painter. I work in a shop. And, <laughs> and whatever it is that you do. I sell dreams. A dream seller. That sounds fun, actually. It, it does, is. doesn't it? I, I know a lot of secrets. I want to talk to you more about that later. Yes, you've said about me and... Everybody. All right, all right, can we keep our minds on the subject? All right, but you're all going to come into the dangerous bit with me. Yes. Does that leave me in charge of four additional people's safety? No. You leave, everyone is to look after themselves. Surely that's the way it works. But you're in front. Yes. I do have a club behind the table in, in the shop. I could bring that along. <laughs> probably do you think that would be useful? I could bring that along. Mm-hmm. All right. Any large rats or anything. Fair enough. Probably... As long as you're all willing to get into a fight. The that's club. Fine. Yes, right? of course. Excellent. All right, very good. So that's that bit sorted. I mean, once it's in the sewers, it's a case of just taking the most direct path. Uh, you knew the, the, the place it's going, don't you? Yeah. Do you know routes in and out of it? The road? There is okay. one road all the way to Rivington, that is fair. Right, right, excellent. So you can you can be the navigator. Um, because this is a route that you know quite well, the entire lower city is quite a wide area to traverse. You know it's not dangerous, dangerous, especially if you all are, you know, generally fine. Yeah. But you are carrying stolen goods, and if someone does stop any of you and try and pickpocket you or try and do anything like that, that would be bad. Yeah. Also, once you get out of the upper city, if you're going through these sewers... There's no gate. There is a gate out of the lower city. So you have to get through a gate where someone might stop you, check you, whatever. And then all the way through the outer city, this long road all the way around Duskhawk Hill, all the way down. Rivington is on the other side of Hyonthar River, which means you have to get through Worms Crossing. Worms Crossing is a gigantic a bridge well, with a toll oh bit. God. And also that is the first oh. main gate into Boulder City, into Boulder's Gate as a whole, and everyone gets checked. They're mostly checking things going in because of the smuggling, but also the out because of the other smuggling. Um, <laughs> I think what I'm trying to say is it won't be easy, necessarily. <laughs> <laughs> How much of that would I know already? You would have a general idea because yeah. you well, you're well travelled. Cool. <laughs> I also love the idea that you're like, this is completely impossible, but you're not saying anything. <laughs> At least not to start with. All right. 
In which case, uh, that's, that leaves the distraction part of this. Which yes. we have entirely under control. I, I don't think we do. We haven't, we've, we've just said we were going to do something. You said <laughs> you're <laughs> going to... <laughs> have you never been to a concert of mine? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but it's frighteningly distracting. Exactly. Wow. Um, how are you going to convince? You mean you are having some sass, and that's totally fair. You do know that V can enthrall oh, no, no, an no, entire I know, room I know, of people. I know. Like, I know. It's, in, it's entirely just because I know that he's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's, it's, buttons, it's, like yeah. literally has a magical ability to enthrall a room full of people. Yeah. That is what they do. Yeah. Well, do. Cool. Yeah. It annoys me. <laughs> <laughs> like all three of us have got like different crowds we can really control. This yeah, really annoys We've all met someone who's exceptionally talented, and you're like, damn it. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So you're just gonna. Pull everyone aside into a room and do okay, that okay. thing that you do. You know, and just just for that, like that point, uh, I'm going to. Can you die. How <laughs> <laughs> <Our> words kill? <laughs> it's it's I'm, uh, cause, I mean, which one is it? Uh, yeah. Um, so I I will start um, singing to you, but like it's in like Go trying on. to explain to you. How. <laughs> I can't sing is the really big issue okay fine then, okay. then don't then please don't that's what I mean <laughs> so it's the thing of like um, all you have to do and then it's just a beautiful voice which leads off into the um, uh, what do you call it like the beginnings of a um, right. you know one of those yeah but you know one of those folk songs where you just have to have just the tone of the voice it like soars over everything do you know what I mean it's that kind of um, it's like uh, yodeling yeah yodeling <laughs> <laughs> that's what I do when everyone gets enthralled it's all right. <laughs> yeah, it's, an operatic folk. Yeah, 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 but it's 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 the thing of like the first note comes out and it's so pure that it hits you like in the back of the neck as opposed to. What know, is everyone having to roll? Uh, a fifteen on uh, wisdom saving throw. What's the range on that? Is it um, fifteen on wisdom saving. <laughs> it right. doesn't have, it doesn't say a damage. One special risk can use. It's a range. No, that's what I'm saying. It doesn't have a specific. Sorry, not damage. It doesn't <laughs> have a specific range as such. I think it's so long as they can see me. I would assume. No. I get advantage of wisdom saves. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, I do not. <laughs> if you perform at least one minute, you can attempt to inspire another voice. Sixty feet. Why does it say that? Oh, you click on it. Oh. Uh, yeah. A nineteen. Yeah, all right, so right. Yeah, that's fine. I've yeah. heard it many times. I got a seventeen. Oh. Which oh, yeah. <laughs> worked. Okay, I'm still. I'm still. Uh, You're still good. I. Thank you. I, I got a nine. I got a natural twenty, but minus one to nineteen. Okay. No, that, yeah, exactly. I'm so. cool. I got six. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you stop rolling threes. <laughs> I can see each time. Yeah. It's it's really threes all three is all night. A lot of threes. Um, <laughs> threes on all of those faces. <laughs> <laughs> threes all the way down. Okay. Uh, I, I've done it for today. Um, so one minute performance, and at the end of it, the threes. Well, the I'm three. Okay. <laughs> no. The three of you are sort of. I mean, it's very pretty, but what? And then you turn, and Ush is just <laughs> staring yeah. at V. And it's completely. What what effect have you gone for? Uh, there's there's multiple effects. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. On, in which case, I'd click on it. it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Indy beyond. Oh, for God's <laughs> sake, Ed. This is the plug section. Indy beyond. <laughs> you've got to click on it. Doesn't work. Doesn't work in this way. Right. If you um, just stare at it, it doesn't <laughs> do anything. You, you have to actually you to interact. You're not it it works really well thing. for most people. <laughs> You're <laughs> offline, you free. Sorry. sorry. <laughs> you have to be online. It's not Indy Beyond's Let's fault that stop, Ed's stop, offline. Stop, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, honestly, be online. Secondly, click things. Okay. If in doubt, ask your DM. They should know everything. It's okay. I don't know all the class abilities <laughs> that well. Come on. I assume they'll be able to root it. The don't, don't have to know everything. Know what's going on now. Dismiss that. Fine. <laughs> ah, yes, that word. Oh, my God. Sorry. Technical issues. I use, I'm going to use... I use D&D Beyond to do what my character does. <laughs> <laughs> Can I give Ed guidance? <laughs> that would really help right now. Hang on. Uh, uh, yes, idolize is... is um, uh, so I like this. this is the enthralling bit. Yes. <laughs> Idolizing shit. Glowing of me to anyone who uh, they talk to, and hinders anyone who opposes you. Though it avoids violence unless already inclined to fight on your behalf. My God. How long does it last for? Uh, Twenty days. <laughs> uh, one hour. If you, uh, uh, yeah, this effect. Uh, this effect ends on the target after an hour. There you go. I use as as it's coming to a close just before the nice closing note. I use thaumaturgy to make a fart noise. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> the three of you, you have know, no taste, do you? The three of you know that it is an exceptional performance, yeah. but you don't really understand the point of yeah. what's happening until you see a Shakti who is just. God that was freaking awesome. All right, point taken. Thank you. That was so good. I know. I know. <laughs> that was like, wow. Mm, as you should. Can all the rich <laughs> people do that? <laughs> No, I think um, there's only one. The door opens. And... Oh God, Bartleby! Bartleby steps in, holding a very now, heavy tray, right, shaking. I then... will take the tray. <laughs> oh no, please! No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Too much. <mature. laughs> steps in, and the reason that and all the tea has just. <laughs> <laughs> Is it like half full, and the tea like? No, no, the tea hasn't spilled. It's just. Kind of clanking as it goes down. There's a beautiful cup of uh, bone china set and um, teacups and everything else, oh. and a couple of savoury pies that have been sliced into uh, what are they? A sixteenth, so they are sort of like. Oh wow, it's very nice. Mm -hmm. oh, there you go. If you need anything, just ring the bell. And turns around and goes back. Down. We haven't had a warm cup of tea in this house today. <laughs> it's true, the tea is cold. Years. <laughs> years. <laughs> years. Mr. Tall Blonde Man, which which do you, would you like thing? You can have the. Would you like that piece? That's probably the best piece. You should probably have that Tor piece. Blonde man, I like it. Do you know what I do? Uh, yes, I think I shall. Would you like anything else? <laughs> this, I was like, this, this is why I hate you. <laughs> At least this one's not got any metal in it. <laughs> oh, cruel. That's really fucking it is really cool. I don't know. I don't even notice. I'm really no, it's, no. Just being fetched. Fetched. Oh, it's mostly whispered to himself. Okay. I can't believe I thought he was so weird. Oh, well, I mean, it takes time, but uh, all it takes is two goes, I think. Are there any of the... Uh, <laughs> are there any of the, um, like, crab volleyballs? <laughs> oh, oh, no. 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 Pies. Yeah. Pies. <laughs> Never know. Um, at this point, plans have been made. Mm -hmm. Are you going to go and look at the art? Uh, my intention is I'd like to look at it anyway, and if anyone gives me an excuse to or... there is a point that has been made about um, the five of you drawing oh, a certain oh, amount yeah. of attention if you went to look at the art which is basically like around a certain part of the house and you'd be sort of wandering for a bit which might There's various corridors and raise stuff. some suspicions yeah. I think Cohen's probably seen enough on the plan and everything of like where he needs to be at what time mm -hmm. the actual content of the art itself is of basically no, no interest to him so okay. he's yeah, I think he's happy to leave stuff. if it's convenient for people mm -hmm. so you're, you're going to leave uh, yeah to, to not I, I, I think you, you, you check with us too I presume it's, yeah yeah of yeah, course yeah, yeah, yeah. it's well, not just like you fuck off well look if it's alright with everybody else I mean as fun as it was uh, gallivanting around the house <laughs> pretending to live the high life um Probably best to don't arouse suspicion, so is there anything else you need me for or should I just uh, pop off? Overseer, I bow to you. Not particularly. See, she said it as well. Alright, so meet you back here in a week's time at what? Six o'clock? In the morning. Six o'clock in the morning. He mm. doesn't mean that. No. <laughs> Why not? No. Right. Fine. When have you? No. When does he need to? Midday. Rest? Right. We'll do. Midday. Here. Right. Side. Are we going through the side door again? I'm meeting you at the front gate. But yeah. Uh, uh, side. Side entrance for you. Side entrance. Perfect. Mm. Right. Well, for those of you I only met today, it was a pleasure. And for Absolutely. those of you I already knew, uh, see well, you later. It was a pleasure. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> and I head up. Okay. okay. Um, in which case, uh, I'm going to stride off towards. Uh, come this way. I will show you the art, and it's up to the people who. I might. Do you mind if we just finish the pie quickly first? Is that? Oh dear God! All right, and I can flop back down into a seat. <laughs> I might go off to see Solana. I don't know what sure. time it is now. Oh, it's mid afternoon. Okay, you could do. Yeah, it, right? I would. I would probably go. So, so. I mean, you're old friends. You've known yes, for a long yeah, time, yeah, yeah. So. I would kind of be like, I really have probably actually seen the collection quite a few times. Exactly. And in order to not again arouse suspicion, I will. And bows and just leaves. Yeah. Cool. Lovely to meet you. Well, come on then, have some. <laughs> <laughs> no, shall we play a character? Shall we? Let's food. It's good. It's good. Yeah, I, 
eat a lot of pie. <laughs> a lot of pie. Like, just yeah, and posse pie. Occasionally. <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> <really bad. laughs> Check whether. Oh. Check whether Mr. West Pocket or Mr. Cheers. Tall Blonde Man would like some pie. Give them like pie that meat, like several <laughs> no, pieces of no, pie. No, I, I must wash my figure. Well, I'm, I'm not watching mine. I'm going to have some more pie. <laughs> you all finish your pie. And um, <laughs> how is the pie? <laughs> I'm, I'm, yeah. <laughs> it's excellent. Oh, it's excellent pie. You... Rich people live like this all the time. Yes. Did. did I tell you Bartleby is a genius in the kitchen? It's like thick gravy, but it doesn't oh. spill out. It's just jellied enough. Oh. I don't pie now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, the worst bit about playing this game. So like, the three of you go to look at the art because you'd be inspecting it, and your assistant would say, "Like that's not too that's not too much of a suspicion arousal, is it? No, is it? So, um, I was going to narrate this because we need to reach a good stopping point. Too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As you head to look at the collection, you this is the first time you've seen it, Shaki. So I'll direct most of this at you. Um, V will obviously be uh, waxing lyrical about mm. the collection and your enamouredness with V does wear off slowly and you start to realise that it might have been a magical effect. <laughs> 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 and Abernathy is also uh, running you through the art, how it works, like what people have done, like certain effects people have created. And the art is, is abstract and odd and nothing, like nothing you've ever seen before. It's very strange. Although you do oh, nice. recognise there is a certain in cases colour of home to some of them. Like you can see why there would be a purchasing interest. And all three of you stop looking at a group of three paintings. Yes. And you all just stand silent for a minute because they are quite odd. Um, one as described before is they, they all have sort of strange two-dimensional like flatness like there's a, almost a vista and then a flatness to the buildings in that vista or a flatness to a tree or something similar there's a very strange 2 to 3D effect going on yes. sorry just to um, <laughs> no, it's just a, a, a no no I'm not in the middle of something and that's what I'm <laughs> sorry it's, can we throw out comparisons to real life artists or would that just muddy it's the based on my grandfather's art so in which case yeah, yeah no, very hard to do I'll put, pop some online that's yeah like because I, 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 I think I know what you mean it's kind of Francis bacon -y. If do you, is that right mm, I'll, uh, I'll put some stuff online yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, the first shows what is evidently a very tall figure with a horned helmet holding their hands out in front of them and almost like a rain of iron mm -hmm. is falling from their hands. It's very strange, very odd picture, very hard to define. Uh, the second, as described before, is um, blood pouring down onto what is clearly a representation of Baldur's Gate. And the third is the most strange of all. It's a skull with a ring of droplets of blood around it. Roll me a religion check. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to roll me a religion check, you don't have to. <laughs> it's everyone, sorry. It's just, uh, just if you want to. to. Sixteen for me? Sixteen. You recognise it as a religious symbol. You recognise the symbol of a rather terrible god that's had some horrible interplay with the city before. Did you forget your guidance yourself? Got my guidance. Yeah. <laughs> and looking at this rather, it's the staring straight out, you see that it's not just the symbol of Baal, and you know it's the symbol of Baal, God mm -hmm. of Murder. It's also got a shadow behind it, a very large, very imposing shadowy figure, and the skull sits right over where the head would be. Nice. Which is the image that I would like us to... <laughs> awesome. Thank you very much, everyone. Splendid. That mm. doesn't seem ominous at all. No, not in any way. I don't know what you're talking about. It's a lovely <laughs> game of rolling fatigue. That's what it's going to be. <laughs> right. Thank you for joining us, everyone, for uh, the first part of Baldur's mm. Gate Framed. Woo -woo. Woo -woo. Indeed. If you enjoy tonight, we'll be playing every Monday night from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. GMT for the next 12 weeks. We also have a live D&D &D show on the first Tuesday of every month at the Rosary Branch Theatre in London. It's called Undergods and DM'd by uh, 
Chloe, who runs the company with me. And uh, we also run another show called Mixtape on the last Wednesday of every month, which is streamed at twitch.tv slash adventureswanted. Hello. And uh, what we do there is play different RPG systems. Um, if you pop along to our YouTube channel as well, which is youtube.com slash adventureswanted, correct me if I'm slash wrong. C slash adventureswanted. Slash C slash yeah, adventureswanted, because YouTube. Yeah. Um, we also have other one shots on there. We just started running a Star Trek Adventures game, which is mm. very well. Nice. And we might be doing more of those soon. So uh, on twitch.tv slash adventureswanted and YouTube dot com slash c slash events when you can find all of our content there if you want to support us in what we do in a different way you can do so on patreon just search for adventures wanted on there being a patreon gets you access to homebrews from our D D games access to exclusive live streams the chance to vote on what we play in the mixtape shows and a free ticket to each month's under god's show if you are a lumna um that's just a taster there's loads of other things on there do check it out and do help us there Thank you, and a big thanks again to Ultra Pro and D&D Beyond who sponsor everything that we do and we couldn't mm. do what we do without them. So yes, big thanks again to our sponsors. Yeah. And we're all over social media. <laughs> <laughs> we're all over social media. On Twitter we're Adventures250, everywhere else we're uh, Adventures Wanted. So that's quite easy for us to find. And because it's the first one, I think, uh, anyone have anything to end on? Anything you want to say? Bye. Mm. <laughs> oh, actually, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Bye. Uh, Bye. It's a job started. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. All right, that'll do. Thank Bye. you. <laughs> <laughs>